Yep. Have you True. caught up yet? Oh yeah, what happened? So I left right as soon as we got to the other side. Oh, other side of the last puzzle? Or into the yeah. last puzzle? Other side of the last uh, puzzle was... Um, I guess we're going to start the recap. We'll, we'll just do the recap and you'll get the gist of it when we go when we go through that. So, By the way, the reason no one mentioned that was because we knew that you would make us do the recap if we told you that. Yes. Uh, oh, come on. I'm not that bad about it. Silence speaks louder than In words. words. <laughs> Last time on Ocasus, with the... With the Crimson Guard successfully infiltrating the, the Citadel of the Protectors, you all... Exiting from the pantry, made your way through the castle, following a swarm of rats, uh, rounding corners and um, knocking out, more or less, killing and then saving in one scenario. Some guards as you passed and found yourselves amongst a fork in the, in the hallway. One leading upwards, one leading downwards. The one leading up going to other guards and people and another door very close by, the one leading down... Uh, the one leading down, going on for a while, quite a while. It is this path that the group selected, and you traverse. Uh, eventually the darkness swallowed, swallowed you all, going along, and some of you feeling against the wall, some of you walking naturally, as you have dark vision, and so enjoy pointing out. <laughs> you rounded a few corners and found yourselves before a door with a with an indent in it. Those who know know what the indent is. Those who don't will probably surmise or guess at some point. Through some fast hands by the by the lovely Kelsey, uh, you all made your way through. The door closed behind you, and you found yourself in a room with a mural and a grate and a flap on the top of the ceiling. Through some deductions and figuring out throughout the room and, and the mural itself, Lars stood before the falling log, uh, casting shield and completing the challenge. Moving on to the central room, where in a similar fashion, similar murals and doors of stone, the... Uh, the powerful, not Lars, powerful Victor with his mighty hammer, which Tocklin despises, uh, struck true against the statue that had injured all of you fiercely, which was a little bit too powerful and remedied towards the end. Um, allowing you to progress into the final room, where over a series of grates and some ballistas, Sammy with, with pace traversed the trap, opening the next room where all of you entered. Uh, say having set a fire in the middle areas. I was just getting ready to add that. Beforehand, yes, thank you. Uh, it is... It is here in this final room to the north where you all find a, a storage area. Um, some costumes were acquired of the protectors. And a book was found, an inventory book, that at first detailed the contents of the room and later detailed much more illicit and unsavory trades. Uh, I think Sammy ended up keeping this not this book? Yes. Yes. Sammy retained the book and you all lined up and headed through the remaining uh, green colored portal at the end of the hallway which is... Wait, portal? Yes, there was a portal at the... Oh. So how each of the rooms at the very ends had portals, there was one more portal at the very end where you would expect a stone door. And it is here that you all entered, and it is there that we will all pick up. Quick question. Do yes. I still have my locate object active? You do, and I will get to that in just a moment. I couldn't remember if I failed a concentration or not. Oh, no, you up, saved. Uh, pick okay. up the disguises as well, though, don't we? Yes, you all have disguises. I can't recall if anybody donned them. Um, I did. Just because I wasn't there, um, for the sake of roleplay and just catching up, uh, is there any type of specific protector's outfit that would symbolize a healer, a magic cast, or anything like that? I think we Not explicitly. It with the weird people, to be honest, like the non-humans, if I remember correctly, like the non-humans were quote-unquote prisoners. 
Then Kelsey was like the general with the insignia. Yeah, I'm I'm one of the protectors, oh. but I have a hood. I think I found a hood, so my ears are covered. So yeah, I'm like the just the paladin protector with the shield. So then I'm I'm just a, so I'm posing as a captain. I might have just assume I agree since I wasn't there. Sure. Yeah. 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 If There's you run into someone else, I'd try to act okay. human, but, you know, I'm an elf, and their human mannerisms are so coarse and ugh. So but you, I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, having donned uniforms and prisoners as such, you all, in a line, more or less, barreled through the portal. Uh, it takes a few moments for you all to traverse through the, the magic arcanas, uh, transporting you in a distance and direction that you do not know. Uh, flying you through an almost uh, translucent into the the astral plane as you travel through this this distance in the material world. Uh, it takes a few moments before with the same momentum you're tossed out into an open room. Um, there are an open room that's about uh, 60 feet wide and about 120 feet long. The first half, a couple of stone pillars and stones around you with blue crystals on, on top of them. There's a few pillars as supporting structures and a gaggle of, uh, of grunt protectors as you all come through. It takes you a moment to look across the room and register that there is a table with some odds and bits on it and three very different individuals standing around the table. And it is here that you'll find yourself. Give me a moment. Sorry. I'm uh, just going to run to the bathroom and I'll be back. Okay. Can you... Okay, well, there that, there's that. Okay. This is the site you all greeted with. And as the final, the final bit of you, as Lars, as you come through the portal and look out over the heads of the group, you see at the very end of the table... Uh, a woman dressed in, in very fine and, and uh, medium-sized armor. Uh, blonde hair tied in braids, back and held behind with a blue ribbon. You see her look up, tilt her head for a moment, and then snap her fingers. Uh, Lars, you feel the portal behind you <laughs> fade and fall. Uh, where's the locate object? The locate object has now transitioned from being directly below you to directly in front of you. Oh, do I know which one it is? Uh, again, you were to... Because I don't know if you remember what you were locating. It is a blue ribbon that you remember seeing. And you can now see perception this check? blue ribbon. Yeah, go ahead. Perception check. Why not? So I'll try to make it look like I'm just... A general es the es Kelsey's escort, and I'm just reading the room. You know. Sure, sure. Uh, you can you scan the bodies in the room real quick, um, and notice that as you all barrel out, there's just a bunch of grunts here who have bows and swords at the at in their hands, but not so much at the ready. Uh, across the room, there is a halfling man uh, dressed in very fine clothes, standing at the table. Looking at you all uh, peculiar in a peculiar manner, not towards you, say, but to your right. Uh, this individual, with blonde hair braided back and tied with a blue ribbon, is the only blue ribbon in the room that you can see. And this individual, in a very, very heavy and fine set of, of full armor... You can see a golden pin of a shield uh, adorning her collar. Um, you'll hear from across the room. Well, I did not think that this would be the luck of today. How interesting that you all seem to have donned our uniforms. Uh, oh, Aveo, interesting that you all that you seem to have murdered one of your own protectors with poison. <laughs> Shapeshifter. <laughs> Aveo, you take note of the voice, and this is the the loudspeaker voice that you've heard once or twice before. Correct. Um. From beside her, the woman in armor armor now speaks. Well, they are here. Shall we handle the situation? Uh, those of you who were at Duke's place recognize this voice. 
and then charge this group with both weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, before that happens, I needed to ask two things. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very interested in the blue crystal, so I don't know if I need to roll Arcana or anything, but first thing uh, Conrad would do, but would Conrad have heard, say, um, mutter something about a shapeshifter? Oh, no, I was I was challenging her, like yelling at, back at her with a quip so, as loud as I could. So, yes, and you, you would have heard, heard that, this. by the way. Oh, yeah, okay, Kelsey cause... immediately is just angry. Yeah. There is, I'm not going to lie, there is reasons um, I don't like shapeshifters, but if that's the actual thing, because I have a spell I'd like to cast if I hear shapeshifting. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, hold on one minute, so... And I would yeah, like wait. to add, while that is all going on, Sammy's just in the still in the mindset of looking for traps for things. Sure, so, okay. So, Sammy, let's do a perception check as you glance around the room real quick. Uh, nope. Conrad, no, it's, you're a little bit flustered by the people and the transportation. It's got you off guard a little bit. Caught you off guard a little bit. Uh, Conrad, let's roll an Arcana check, please, as you peer at the crystals. You don't gain much knowledge from them. Um, they're very odd, very foreign to you. But you do take note that they are rather large. They seem to be able to encapsulate a large area. They're maybe about 8 feet tall and about 3 feet wide. Um, and as you take a look, you can see... Inside this nearest crystal, uh, there seems to be a, a shadow of a very small, small female figure in there. And then you continue looking around the room and you can see that each of these crystals have a different body of varying proportions and uh, size. Interesting. Thank you. Uh, but just as a heads up, when it's thematically appropriate, um, mm -hmm. I will be casting a spell... But just as I... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. I'm so sorry. Is that what I wanted? Well, yes, it was. I cast it at a higher level. Okay. Why did it not link the information? Sometimes it has to anyway, do I'll, a I'll spell card. All right, so you're casting that? At whoever was um, accused of being a, um, a shapeshifter. And I'm... I guess I can't get it there. Oh. I'll just copy it. So who are you casting it at? All right, well, just because I had to run back. So there was a conversation being had. Say, which one were you yelling at? Who were you talking one, between? Her and her right there. And it would have been fairly obvious from context because I was replying to her statement. And okay. So. I would like to cast it. Um, it's a five-foot radius, so um, Conrad would cast it between the two. Is five foot not a single square? No, then it'll be just a target. Okay. Five five foot radius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, you could you could target both so of them. Ten feet. Uh, let's see, it's two. So if I cast it at level three. Uh, sorry. Which I think you level... you did at level three because it's the first level. So second. And then higher level cast, so eleven thirteen. So it's thirteen total points of. Okay. Uh, druid damage, sorry. Druid and then, damage. <laughs> and if there is any shapeshifters, they must make a saving throw at disadvantage against something. Constitution. All right, guys, hold on. You have to be... Okay, it's fine. Um, okay, so they have to make a con save for what? To return to uh, their original form. Well, it, and, can't assume a di and it can't assume a different form until it leaves the spell's light. All right, so so, okay, so, so neither of them have to make a con have... save. Well, okay, so con to take half damage, but if they are shapeshifters, okay. they take it at advantage. All right, they take it at regular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's for the guy to the north. Jesus. Okay, and then she critically fails the other one. I'll just do that. Okay, so, so the guy to the north saves. Takes how nat much damage? 20, not 1. Yeah. So then half damage is... God, what is it? 13 divided by 2. Six. Well, 6 points of damage rounded down. Yeah. And then the other's 13. Okay. And the other one's 13. Uh, you will watch as Say makes this claim. Uh, a shaft of light <laughs> impacts the area. It cracks the corner of the table and spills a bottle of ink and a quill across the room. Uh, you see the halfling man uh, kind of grimace and the woman at the table kind of just take the brunt. 
um, the shaft of light ends and they both look up. Can you um, just sorry. please it's take care of this? Sorry, what? It's a, sorry, it's a, I think it's a maintaining thing. So on each of your turns after you cast a spell, you can use an action to beam 60 feet in any direction. So basically, is it a straight line from you, or is it straight down? Uh, it's straight down. Okay. It's a yeah. It's a forty foot cylinder vertical. It's literally based. from wow. Sure. So, yeah. so that happening, the the light continues it's to exist, draw. and taking on the brunt, the halfling man looks up and looks at the woman with the blue ribbon, makes this statement: "Can you just take care of this?" Um. Sammy, you recognize this voice. And those in the pantry also recognize this voice. Um, the woman in blue looks up and her eyes uh, ignite in a bit of a flame. And she says, we'll take this one at a time. Could you please? And the woman beside her in forearm says, certainly. Looks up, speaks a word, extends her hand. You all see the crystals beside you begin to glow just before the woman with the blue ribbon raises her own hand and with the fire in her eyes bursts forth forward into the room and you watch as a barrier crosses off this back section of the room. Woof. Blocking view and blocking any sort of uh, insight into the room. So who can we see? Like that we can't see her but we can still see the half -life. That happens. Oh, that happens. And just like uh, Peter, that's a five foot radius, meaning it's ten feet diameter. Oh, okay, sorry, thank you. Good point. The moonbeam, so five foot radius, so it's ten foot diameter. He didn't realize that. Okay. Sorry, what? Say, what do you want to say? Uh, well, not anymore. Um, yeah, never mind. That Sorry. was gonna like issue orders on how to who to attack and everything, but sure. it's just grunts now. So, well, is it the mm -hmm. the wall comes the wall comes forth and sections off the back section the back portion of this room. The crystals around you all begin to glow, and you can see now internally the bodies in a uh, oh, what in a fetal position of. Uh, either on the bottom or occup occupy occupying just the bottom half of the crystal or occupying the entire crystal, depending on which one you look at, uh, you see a, a slash from inside and a small uh, gush of blood from within splatter onto the crystal. Uh, the crystal absorbs that liquid and cleans off its surface. The red crystals on the bottom of it begin to, on the base of each of them, begin to glow and you see a small amount of energy penetrate the ground uh, beside them and you watch as multiple people spring up uh, a bit decayed and a bit uh, different looking as you have seen them all before and it is at this point that we will uh, roll initiative awkward when you show up and that dead guy whose bow you took is actually alive Am I correct in thinking that Josh can roll his initiative at advantage? Correct. Josh. Baron. Don't stop. forget that next time. Baron. For God's sake. I can't too, by the way. I mean, I can roll my stop. initiative at advantage anyway. Yeah, it's just apparently you haven't been. I don't know. I, don't but, know. I mean, do you have dark vision? That's a check and mate right there, actually. Or... Oh, and Whittle, um, does my, do I sense that my moonbeam is still... So is it a, literally a physical wall that just popped up there? It's a physical wall that popped up, but you cannot Rip. see into the room. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Re Reynolds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bayos, though. <laughs> and Lars. Actually, just... The only people that had a decent initiative were the ones with the advantage, and only because we had advantage. I gotta go play hey. Uh, Travis, you need to click on your token before. Yeah, no, I rolled a 7 though. I, I don't know if we want to assign that to me manually or whatnot. Yeah, you'll just re roll. Just 
just reroll. Yeah. So click on it and then roll. Yeah, click on your token and then hit initiative. Perfect. <laughs> and then you can double click and type seven. <laughs> You know what's funny? Oof. You rolled a nat one, and you still are higher up than me. Uh, okay. uh, Whittle, if you don't mind making my circle on the other side up, uh, ten by ten, just because um, sure. it's still there technically. Whittle deletes it and makes a new one. I don't know right. what you did, but I actually can't touch it. Oh. Nope. There we go. Um, nope. There we go. Here, I got if it. I made one on the. Oh, you I got, got it. it. Okay. You know what? Uh, here, I'm gonna make a new one and you can drag it over there. Nope, I, I, got I, nope, it. I got it. Nope, I got it. I wanna make it translucent for you. I can do that. Okay. Well, I wanna get my murder on, so. Um, as, uh, as combat does start, I just wanna take a quick reaction to say to the party while we're all nearby I am here to support each and every one of you. I will follow your lead. Try not to kill the grunts, but I mean, if you have to. Uh, you're you're hot, Mike. Try that. And you're good. The greatest of hot mics. What's the range? The wall. Sixty-five. Okay. Sixty-five. Here, I'll make a I'll make a proper thing. Wish the guy was here because I want to say something like, "Have fun, Talklin." There we go. Be back home by midnight. Uh, yeah, he's probably just gonna charge the closest person. To be honest, yeah, I'm probably gonna help him. Would he charge the closest person, or would he just run into the big group? I think Probably just charge the meanest looking guy, maybe. I was um, gonna tell Talkland to keep the shapeshifter girl busy. Like, that was why I wanted to give a command first. <laughs> it's like we're calling her shapeshifter, but she's not a shapeshifter. <laughs> Then she so how are we doing CK stuff? Whittle, are you controlling CK? or? I have him right uh, now. If someone wants to take control, you are more than welcome to. Roleplay-wise, his whole thing is whatever situation is the biggest, baddest monster, protect the weak kind of thing. Yeah, and that's why I figured he would like run right through everyone, ignoring them. Taking attacks of opportunity, not caring, just to get in her face. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um... So yeah, so does someone want to control Talkman, or is that me for today? I guess I can do it. Okay. We could take turns. <laughs> we can kind of not meta him a little bit, maybe. I, I just say that because Sammy's really easy to control because Rogue. All right, uh, sure. Joker, you have him now. You should have him now. You can should be able to open up this thing. Yeah, all you have to do is like I double crit. Dude, I do. Yep. <laughs> points damage. And Perfect. He's already rolled initiative, so he's not. Turn. Okay. Um, I can no longer see Discord. <laughs> okay. So, as oh. these crystals emanate energy, uh, a, a beam of red energy penetrates the ground, and these four bodies <laughs> rise up out of them. Uh, each of them making a very... almost rehearsed uh, statement. Uh, Ta, looking to you, say... You are mine. Uh, Way back. Yep. Riam, uh, to Kelsey, it seems you have finally come home. Uh, oh no. The knight, to you, Sammy, you will pay for what you have done. Uh, and this, this guy, to you, Victor, we still have unfinished business. Not you again. Okay, and we come to the top of the initiative order. Uh, Kelsey, what would you like to do? Uh, it was this guy who called out my name, right? Correct. He is... The guy I has, got the bow from. Yes. If you remember who that was. The one that legendary action almost murdered I do. Oh, I fucking 
So I got to turn advantage off. So 15 on the second one. Okay. Um, the second one, you roll too hastily. The first shot ri rings out amongst the room. Bang! Um, how far away are you from him? Are you? Yeah, you're fine. First shot rings out. Bang! Um, Kelsey, you watch it impact his chest and the body go rigid and fall over. That's too easy. No, I refuse. Nope. Nope. I can't do anything else in my turn except move, but nope, I know. Well, you easy. still have your second attack. Oh, well, I missed Hit it. Hit the crystal. I missed it, didn't I? Because I... Well, your second attack was targeting him, but he was already down by that point. Can I have the second attack hit the crystal then? Okay. Roll to hit the crystal. Oh no, 15. Uh, that does hit. You deal 14 damage. The bullet rings off the corner of the crystal. Ting! You see a small crack form in it, but it is tiny. Very tiny. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's my turn now. You still have movement and bonus action, I think. Not really much I can use the bonus action with. Uh, so sorry, Kelsey. So wait, you shot at one of the crystals? Yeah. And then what happened to this person? Shot him too. Hmm. Shot him first and died. Off the first shot. Died with four Wow. 14 okay. piercing, so which made him suspicious. <laughs> it's like, big guy dying immediately? Hmm. Okay. Nah. We come to the top group, um, all of them pulling out their bows and, and moving almost in unison. They just left you to die. Uh, we're gonna do uh, two attacks, two short bow attacks at, uh, actually they wouldn't move there. They would move here. All right, we're gonna do two short bow attacks at you, Victor. And then two short bow attacks at you, Kelsey. So we're going to do Victor first. Uh, hold on, sorry. Miss. Miss. Okay, two at Kelsey. Hit. Hit, Alright, you take eight Got points of <laughs> you, you take eight points of piercing as two arrows find their way to you. Uh, the next group goes. Ooh. And also moves up closer into the group. Uh this time we will do two shots at uh yeah, Victor and Kelsey. Okay. Please uh, have mercy. Miss, miss. Uh, miss, miss, thank you. Okay, the four arrows fly over the group. You all duck as they impact the stonework behind you. Say, we come to your turn. What would you like to do? Say just ignores the arrows completely. Comes right down here. <laughs> like that, right? Okay. Yep, you can do that. One, I've got sword and shield, so one attack on the ta. Okay. Hey, nice to see you again. Oh, at advantage, by the way, because he hasn't acted yet. Well, doesn't <laughs> they miss. You go to swing and he <laughs> ducks out of the way. Second attack on him again. Uh, is it still... Oh, no, i got to read about it if I saw it. On your first turn during combat, you have, to, yeah, yeah, on for the, my whole first turn. So, okay. Come on, yay! Yep, that hits. Uh, you bring your sword strike true into the chest. Dush, strike true to the chest. Poof! It embeds itself properly into his heart, uh, uh, and he falls to the ground, uh, dead. All right. Uh, bonus action can't do anything. Can I Hunter's Mark this? Um, 
What is Hunter's Mark? Uh, ceiling is about, uh, this, this room is a little bit larger than the other one. I'd say about 15, 16 feet high. Somewhere about there. I forgot how to link the, the actual thing. If I click it, it'll do a roll. It'll roll the damage. So you choose a creature. They are not creatures. Okay. Then I will Hunter's Mark. Try Who's not. the biggest, baddest looking guy here? Actually, I'll just Hunter's Mark that guy. First level. Which guy? And then this one. This one? Yep. Okay. Okay. And I'm done. That's your turn? Try I mean, I don't have my offhand weapon because I have a shield out. Okay. Sammy, we come to you. Sammy's gonna combat roll between Victor's legs. Sure, easy enough. This point, as the arrows fly overhead, you roll forward uh, through Victor. One of the arrows pulling off his shield. Ting. And Sammy's gonna fire off a firebolt at this per uh, this person here, right here. A firebolt. A firebolt. Oh, a, a bolt in your crossbow that is a fire. Got it. Yes. Okay, and which oh, one specifically? Little did, little did we know, Sammy's actually been a mage this whole time. A bolt that is fire. Uh, yeah, it's a normal. And dunk. Uh, which individual? Uh, this, this one. This one? Uh, the bolt flies overhead phoom, and embeds itself into the the wall behind you. Ting! You see a ripple of arcane energy vroom, 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 out from behind it as the bolt falls to the ground. Uh, and he will fire his derringer at the crystal here. At this crystal? Yes. Okay. Are those two different crystals, like the red one and the blue one? Correct. The blue one is the larger crystal on top of the rock housing what seems to be a body. The red crystal is a smaller one at the base of the structure. And which one did the um, blood flow into? You saw a pulse of red energy emanate from the smaller crystal. I'm going to fire at Derringer at that crystal. At the smaller crystal? At the smaller crystal. Okay. Uh, the you fire the bolt and you see it embed itself in a crystal. Ting! Uh, you don't see any cracks or any sort of damage emanate off from your strike. It seems to have just absorbed the hit. Kelsey, which which crystal. which is flavor you missed technically. So I just want to clarify. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, which one did Kelsey attack? The big or the little? Kelsey attacked the blue crystal. And Sammy is going to combat roll back through Reynolds' legs. Okay. Uh, Talklin. Disappearing. Disappearing halfling. Boom, boom. Talklin, what would you like to do? Talklin will probably just hunt. A, he will probably, as a bonus action, warden mark, wardens mark this guy. Mm hmm Because I feel he's just like, going to charge. Mm hmm Um... I can't control this character, so you can. Oops, you can sorry. It too. Yep. Let me give you permission on that. I'm trying to learn an entire character <laughs> in the middle of a fight. At, at this point, you should be able to control it. At this point, just run and hit things. That's more or less what Toglin does. So I'm. He's gonna warden smart. This character is a bonus action, and then smack it. Okay. Okay. Now I don't know if he gets multi attack. Uh, he he's would gonna... have it listed if he did. Yeah, but it might be a weird name that I don't recognize. That's true. Uh, extra attack. So, yes. Uh, he can attack twice instead of once. So, he, he will use... So, that, so actually, he'll probably walk here. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, um, that's fine. Yep. And he will smack the two-handed attack. Onto the guy. Onto the guy. All right. That misses. And attack rolls are terrible. Dirty. Wow. That also misses. Boom, boom. The guy just boom, boom, steps side to side. And they both both miss. Anything else? Uh, he's going to feel happy that he's got a challenge in front of him. Good enough. Conrad, what would you like to do? All right. So a few clarifying points. So if mm -hmm. I were to move here, um, mm -hmm. I understand it's based on the angle of the attack, but would this be anywhere between like three fourths to a, like a fourth cover, depending on where the arrows are coming from? Um, I'd say it'd be three fourths from about here down. It'd be about half from here down. So it, it would be cover. Okay. You would have a bit of cover. I'd like to use this as cover. So that's my, yeah, my yeah, you movement. Can do that. 20 feet here. Mm-hmm. And then, just because I can't see across the wall, but I can sense the magic, can you just point out where the center of my spell is currently? Center of your spell is right here. So, oh wait, uh, I need to... No snapping, sorry. Thank you for keeping... Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I can tell you where she is. If you, have you can tell the direction. Conrad knows that. Yeah, it's true. So... Let me just make sure I read my spell right here. Um, essentially, assuming I can make it do some pretty beefy damage here. Let's, so, so just to reiterate, these are in groups for ease of movement. They're kind of a little bit spaced out in the actual mm -hmm. game. So it'd be like a percentage of what you would hit. You'd still hit a group. They're still in a group, but it's not a four Basically, type What I'm monster. trying to figure out is if oh, when, it, oh, when it enters the spell stream, time. <laughs> okay. Um, just so you know, if they're starting their turns right there, they, um, okay, point out one more time. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend my action to move it. So, um, is it within is range to move it? through the wall. Huh? Is it within range to move it? Yeah, yes. And it can move up to 60 feet. Okay. Not weapon and gears of war. It just walks Yeah, it's, it's literally, yeah, it's like, uh, it's the, the satellite thing, exactly. So, if you could move the center to be right here. So this thing, yeah, goes... <laughs> just... Oh, I can move it now? Thank you. Like um, that? Yeah, so essentially what's going to happen is this, this beam of moon energy flies through this wall, and anything in between here, by the way, mm -hmm. it, um, it hits these people. Oh, man. Oh, it won't. Okay, so... Basically, what I'm trying to do is, it's going to fry these four and then start moving down. Um, so whatever, I, I think you can get can three like, of them. Okay, like the, fine, then. the one on the corner. I'd like not. to just have it center right there. All right. Um, just for ease of dealing with this, uh, can you roll me a d4, please? Oh, okay. Just sure, I'll be... One. Um. They're a little bit more spaced out than this area, and you're able to to catch one of them squarely as it passes over. Uh, the others are just able to dodge out of the way as it moves by them. All right. Well, the male roll damage. Okay. So it's at a third level. Just ten points of damage. Okay. Uh, it's a con save, correct? Uh, correct. Uh, Save, probably. Yeah, I think Wibble. it's all yours. Yeah, what's I up? I just realized Tarkin should have had advantage on his first attack. Alright, make one more roll. <laughs> okay, uh, so he takes five points of damage? Four, Four points. points. No, five points. And if he's a shapeshifter, he uh, does it at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. Damn wow, that the Wow. That sheet does not like you being in control of it. Hey, Peter, do you want to take it? You do want to take it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Actually, All no, right. I'm a spellcaster. Someone else take it. I'll, I'll take it. I understand rage. Yo, I understand rage. All right, I'll shift it over. Uh, anything else, Conrad? Uh, I haven't... Oh, you know what? I'm going to use a bonus action to just cast Shalai. So I just have that now. Okay. It's fine. I've and that ends my turn. 
Oh, but if any of those grunts start their turn in there, they have to um, roll con again and take damage. That's fine. Uh... Uh, just because the way you were describing it, do you mind moving it up five? Because if that's the case, uh, I'll just have it centered here. Whatever. It was exactly 60 feet. I don't know where it was behind the black list. There you go. That's fine. Oh, it's making me change things on the fly. Uh, Sorry. You're a DM. Yeah, it's just taking a while. Have it planned days. right the first time. No, shut up. <laughs> Um, That's not a un totally unreasonable request. It is. All right. Uh, this knight marches forward uh, to you, Sammy. You will pay for what you have done. I keep on forgetting that. She's a woman. You will pay for what you have done. And she raises her shield and readies her sword uh, as she takes the dodge action. And what did I do? Uh, roll. You, you murdered. Roll a history check, Sammy. If you could, please. <laughs> what did you do? What is she? What is she on about? All right. <laughs> we come to <laughs> we come to Taw's turn, and as as it rolls around, say as you turn away from the body, you you s look at the crystal, trying to observe oh, it real quick. Away. Well, it's in your peripheral. You're observing the crystal and looking around, and you see. You see out of the corner of your eye, the crystal once again emanate a blue glow. Another cut from the from the being within. Blood is pulled out, pulled back off the surface. The red crystal emanates energy again and shoots a red beam into Ta. Uh, you see his eyes flutter open. Um, we have unfinished business, elf woman, and. Uh, he stands back up, which is half his, half his movement, and he attacks you, say. I, I see this as well, I assume. Going. So he's just like, uh, count, yeah, let's get this over. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay. Wait, no, why is that? Plus five, plus three, plus three? All right, subtract six from that. Tell me what to subtract from my health. Okay. Uh, ooh, what is that? Twenty-two plus nineteen. Uh, what is that? Forty-one minus six, thirty-five. Yes. So, so the six applied on the first one, but not the second one. Well, no, I I entered it in wrong, so it was adding in three more per attack than it should have been. Okay. That's what I'm getting at. So you take 35 points of damage as with a with a quarterstaff that, that's emanating a, a, a very strong aura from it. Whack, whack! He beats you upside the head a couple times. Say so he was kind of drunk. Like, Muhammad Ali just got pounded. And just mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, here we go. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> All right, that's his turn. Uh, again, same thing as prior. Described. Um, as described prior, the crystal once again glows. This time, a uh, uh, a female elf form within, <laughs> uh, cut across, blood on the crystal, pulled away. Crystal emanates color, <laughs> shoots it into a uh, Riam as his eyes flutter open. He uh, stands up with his bow. Welcome home, Kelsey. Hmm? Doosh, and lets off an attack. Please, no. Oh, you're like an arrow magnet and stuff. <laughs> no. It's not a lot of damage, at least. Does 24 hit? Which yes. I, I think it does. You take 9 points of piercing as another longbow vroom, uh, embeds itself into your torso. You feel a couple ribs crack under the pressure. Does it look like the same longbow that Say has on her back? Similar, but it's not the same exact. Okay. Um, Aveo, we round to your turn. What would you like to do? Can you actually hear me? We can hear you now, yes. yes. Okay. All right, I was having mic issues earlier. All right, um, so can I get more information about these crystals? Are they technically worked stone? Um, roll an intelligence check, please. It 
it's difficult to tell exactly where they're from or who could have done this, but these are not naturally emanating. Um, the fact that there are bodies within them seems that they were almost purpose, purposefully constructed. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out if they are um, stones or like natural rock at some point. Or yes. Or stone. Yes, they're 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 very large yes. gemstones, essentially that have been okay. uh, cored out. All right, so I'm actually going to uh, wander over to this one and put my hand on it and cast Stone Tell. Okay. And yes, I said wander. Yep, yep, yep. I have a <laughs> whack whack. <laughs> Cough up some blood. Okay. Uh, yeah, the spell goes off without a hitch, and you the uh, stone. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, this is, this is quite odd. What what are you exactly, and why is there something inside of you, and how are I, you animating people? And I am a stone. Why inside of me? Why why is there something? Is who has done? Who has defiled my my being? Can you tell how out. you're connected to the other the other stone? Like, is there any way we can sever that connection for you? They. Cancer, kill, kill the cancer, remove what the stone. Is the, what, is, what, what is the cancer? Is it the red one? Remove the red stone, remove the cancer. That is not me. It hurts. Um, it, I'm assuming Aveo is actually talking out loud next to me, talking to the stone. Yes. Yes, I am. We can um, wait, 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 wait. Aveo, is the stone talking? Like, or is it just a connection with you? So, let's see. It depends on what type it is. Um, it says that I can question rocks and gain information, and it's like we have the same language, but I don't know that anybody else can. Just I'm just crazy. <laughs> can I use a Sentience and animation. Um, Conrad, you would see that the stone is moving. In her, 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 her. And then Aveo speaking what she's saying. Uh, I'm just yeah. gonna ask Aveo. Um, maybe I can help. Tell me what the stone is saying, and then I'm just gonna you know, end the reaction. The stone saying that the red thing is a cancer. We need to get rid of the the red one that's connected to it. Um, the stone's not bad. You guys don't hurt the stones, please. Uh, can you hurt the the red thing though? Get it away from it. I am a surgeon of magic, and I shall help. And I'll start casting or you know preparing for the next. Round. Sure. Aveo, it's, uh, I think you still have movement and bonus action. That'll help. <laughs> Can I try to, am I close enough to touch that redstone, do you think? Where I'm at? Uh, how far did you I move? I can cast a cantrip with my that? bonus. Yeah, you can move up to your, you can move up to the stone still. Okay, I want to um, shock and grasp the the redstone. Okay. In my cantrip action. Yes. Um, you go to touch the stone and you wrap your hand around it and you release a a bit of the electrifying energy and you see it wash wash over the stone. Um, there are a couple of places where it hits the cracks and you see little little glimmers of of glitter almost ting come off of it. Um. You receive the impression that it just wasn't exactly where you needed to put it. It wasn't uh, wasn't strong enough on on that regard. Oh. Fourteen was too low. All right, um, I'm gonna yell to everybody else that basically like go for the red stones or they'll keep reanimating. I just have to mention what I love about D and D is because of what Aubrey just did. This had such a different layer of like role play during combat. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Anything else, Avail? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, Lars, we come to you. What would you like to do? Uh, so I'm going to drop a shatter, um, right there. Okay. Uh, radius. Okay. Perfect. Uh, can you roll me a d8? Or no, can you roll me 2d4, please? As you do so. And then also the spell card, please. Could I use my inspiration to ensure I hit all of them? 
Yes. Ooh, thank you. This actually reminds me. I'm... There's going to be more changes in the coming future, but one of the ones that we can implement now is that you can do inspirations retro retroactively now. Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> can I change back my fate stone to retroactive? No. <laughs> well, you have it today, right? Yeah, it's a recharge, but it just because of inspiration. No, I know. It works. So, Travis, or, uh, sorry, Lars, yes. You can do that. Please roll me 2d4 and then a uh, spell card, if you could please. So just to clarify, would also inspiration can go backwards, but fate stone can only change the future moving forward. Uh, we'll, like I have to declare it's a nat 1 or nat 20 before people roll. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, okay. My mind's not there right now. Oh, DC 14 con save, okay. Um... Lars, um, again, they are a little bit spread out, and you're able to manage. You're able to uh, clip three of them. Boom! You all hear a very loud, thunderous boom within the within the cavern here. They make con saves. That would have been a loud. Oh, boom oh it's it space. is incredibly loud. Um, Travis, you watch as you extend a hand and snap your fingers. The pillar almost itself. Boom, 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 boom. Um, explodes with an incredible amount of sound and energy. Um, most of the grunts there stumble and stutter away, holding onto their heads. Uh, three of them, as the shockwave emanates outwards, just fall to the ground, uh, dead. Please don't take the room down on top of us. Say, like, with the in the background, ma. It's worth it! <laughs> Anything else, Lars? I think you still have oh, movement actually, just, and uh, bonus. Um, over to this area. Okay. Can you move your... Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, just double check. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Coming to the north side, the uh, fallen general is going to walk away from Talklin. We have unfinished business... And he's going to walk to no, Victor. No, he's not. Sentinel. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm, I'm bringing up the character sheet. Alright. So I, I actually roll. had time to read through everything. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, I just roll a normal attack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lars, I think I he's also... He Which Warhammer is he? Which Warhammer did he have out? He was two-handed. He was... All right. Yeah. Ah, you're not getting away from me. Yes, he is. <laughs> is there? Does he get advantage or anything? No, it was no. it was the first attack of the um, either the round or the combat encounter. I can't remember. Lars, he does. Sorry, what, Aubrey? It was the first attack of the combat encounter. Ah, Aubrey, what did you say? Got advantage on. Yeah, I gotta look for a second. Oh, it's got a hit though. Yeah, it's got it's got to hit. Aubrey, what did you say? Oh, he's on the sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Lars, he does also sheet. walk by you if you would like to take a swing. That also misses. You guys swing as he just walks with a bit more pace than anticipated. He approaches you, uh, Victor. And uh, takes a couple of swings. Oh, that's the GM. Which I okay, I won't use it because it was a crit. Do those hit? Uh, yep. Okay. They're minus three, correct, for attack. Yes, they would be. All right. Uh, yeah, you take. Minus three per attack, I think, by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah per attack. So that's 16, 15. You take 31 points of slashing damage. Foom, foom! Another great sword as he bashes down onto Victor in his armor. Um, speaking of which, Victor, it is your turn. I'm gonna just spit a little blood and hit him back. Okay. Is Sammy flanking, technically? No. No. Uh, 
that hits uh, with a single thrust of the sword whoom, into his chest. Ugh, ugh, he uh, falls down. Dead. Okay, Victor is um, gonna yell out. I think they want to separate us. Stay in groups. And he's gonna shimmy his way over towards Toklan. In what path? The path matters. Yep, that easy way. enough. Yep. Yeah, Stop it, mouse. What, what are you doing? I'm having roll 20 reload on me randomly. Hmm. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. <laughs> Refresh the page. All right, I moved, I moved you, Victor. It's, <laughs> it's not doing it for me. Victor, I move you. What do you What do you want to do when you reach there? Thank you. I'm gonna try and hit the red crystal. You cannot reach it from this position. Ooh. It has to be here, here, here. I think I think I have five feet left. I moved twenty five, correct? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you could you can make there. Okay, then I'm gonna shimmy over to the side from which I can hit the crystal. I'm gonna try and hit it. There you go. How you feeling there? Look kind of beat up. Um, you hit the crystal, and again, it's very small, but it feels very dense. Ting! Your warhammer bounces off of it. Little shards of glitter into the air, but no apparent damage. Why can't we roll higher than like a? 17 on the crystals. <laughs> Anything else, Victor? Uh, nope. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Kelsey, what would you like to do? Many things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to shoot the guy again, the bow. Okay. Again, that hits one bullet. <laughs> uh, falls down. And the second one's going to go for the red crystal. Okay. Ho ho! Ooh, ho ho ho! Impressive. Kelsey, you fire down. Devastating strike. You fire down range. She's just angry. Apparently. Kelsey, you fire down range and hit hit the individual with the bow in the corner. <laughs> he falls down, and with a bit of renewed vigor um, and a bit of security, knowing that he no longer has a bow trained on you for the moment. You take, you take an extra second to peer and make sure that you're hitting the center of the crystal. You see a small crack through your scope of where it is. Bang! And in a flurry of, of almost like a grenade of shrapnel. Ting! The, the crystal becomes uh, shattered and, and erupts into a flurry of glass and glitter as it is destroyed. Thank God. All right. Okay. Anything Ooh. else? Um, no. That's all I got for now. Okay. Kelsey finally left the ho the house. The nest. I'm so proud of her. Kelsey yeah, I'm still waiting for Sammy to leave. Oh, uh, these two step up. Um. Uh, they, if they start their turn in Moonbeam, they take damage. Well, this is where they were originally, and you already placed it on them. So, when you move it on them, they take damage, and then when they start their turn, they also take damage? Correct. So, let me see. When a creature enters the spell areas for the first time on turn... Or on a turn, or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames. So, first time, or starts its turn. So it already rolled once. It would have to go over? Into it? On each of your turns Wait. after you cast a spell, you can use an action to move it. Well, isn't it either or? It sounds like if they had just stayed in there, then the next turn it would have. That's what I was or thinking, too. Or if they too. walked into it or and then start their turn. But didn't they start their turn in the beam? Because it's as yeah, if they've already like... been hit. Well, again, yeah, this, this group was already hit, air quotes, remember? 
But isn't that last turn? Because I can maintain a beam on someone. Yes, but this is the the this is where the game comes in. So I I'm not certain that it's okay. when it hits. So they've already they've already made the saves air quotes, and they would be double punished if they if that's the way that it worked. Does that make sense? Now, if they uh, stay there and just fire their arrows, then yeah, the next time your turn would come around, before you even move it, they would take damage. Or if or if they oh, could only run through it that way, then they would also take damage. If they Would they ever start their turn there? Because, like, and again, yeah. DM, ultimately DM's decision, but my thing was, so last turn I made them in there, now it's a new round, they're yeah, starting well, their turn on the new round. But it hasn't been an entire round since they made the save last time. Which, normally with oh, a lot of spells, that. it's one round, and then they make a new save. I'm reading it here, and it seems like it's either the first enters the spell air enters the spell's area for the first time, which they did not do. It was dropped on them, or they they start their turn in it. So the way I would say it should hit because this is asking the difference between walking into it or starting their turn on it. it okay. Still so then they haven't the walked into the so okay so so, so so we're both right. We're all talking about different ways. So they they took they took the damage when. Peter, when Conrad moved it on top of them, that was technically wrong. It should have waited until they started their turn. That would go, okay, now they all make the saves. So we just did it preemptively. That oh, actually okay. sounds great. Yeah, you have a point. Okay. That was what I was going to say, but yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you everybody for getting that through. Okay, so we did that preemptively. We got that down. Works in the future. They move away from it. Having already taken damage, they step forward just a little bit. Um... And yeah, actually, having took damage, they're going to step full forward and they're going to fire at you, Conrad. You have, uh, you have, what is it? You have half cover. So what is that? Uh, okay. plus two. So it's plus two? Yeah, plus two to your AC. Half cover is plus two. Yep. Ooh. Both AC and max. Okay. So the first one lands, does a 15 beat your increased so AC. Hit, but a, um, a, a 15 would not hit. Perfect. So you take... Uh, ooh, what is that? You take 12 points of piercing damage as the first arrow, for thematic reasons, the first arrow, ting, bounces off the rock. You deflect, you you duck out of the way naturally and go to look up again, and as the next one flies in, <coughs> it hits you in the clavicle. Um, a very heavy gurt of blood from it. Ugh. Oh yeah, are you concentrating on the moonbeam? So because, yeah, it's a uh, concentration, All right. so... Uh, con save, con okay. save at advantage, please. I think you have to make a 10 DC, because it's half the damage as a DC. Oh, half. or yeah, so it's, it's 10 half. or half the damage as a DC. So this would be 10. Whichever is higher. Whichever is higher. So you make the save so easy enough. Okay. Uh, this group now... Yeah, steps forward. Um, we're going to do three attacks. We're going to go uh, Lars, Sammy, Kelsey. In that order. Ooh. Ow. Lars does a 13 beat? No. Okay. Uh, Sammy, you take... Because I know a 6 doesn't beat Kelsey's. Sammy, you take 9 points of piercing as one arrow finds its way true straight to your chest. Doosh! Lands I'm center going on it. to do something that I forgot I've been able to do and okay. uncanny dodge, which means it only takes half damage. Okay, is that a rest ability, basically? Reaction. Okay, note that you no longer have a reaction. And yes, you take four points of piercing damage as you just rotate your arm out of the way, sing, and it slices uh, through your, your shoulder, uh, the skin of your shoulder, but does not embed itself into you. Okay. Uh, say, we come to you. I'll die. And I'm gonna hit, um, swing it. What's his face? Ta. Ta. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That hits. Again, just straight to the chest. Dish! Or this time oh, across, no. this time across the gut. There's something I want to do. Now. Okay. I want to run him through. Grab him. 
take him to the ground, like as he's dying, and then okay. try to grapple him, his dead body, and with the sword still inside him. All right, you can definitely so like, you can definitely stab him. That kills him. You can grapple a dead body easily. That that's not even going to make a, a contest right now. So yes, you can do that. This, and just to explain it, it's like she's got a rear naked choke essentially, and she, she's shifted sure. her hand to be reverse grip on the sword that's through his chest. Sure, she's sure, got sure. Got his back. Yeah, it's a little off centered because of the sword, but yeah. Okay, so he is now grappled, and I'm going to kick this thing. Uh, so that's an improvised weapon. That's just a straight, uh, strength check. So I just roll strength? Just strength. Finding strength there. Which hits, uh, and I think you're not proficient in hand weapons. I think it's just roll the 1d4 at this point. No, one d four is when you're proficient. I think it's, it's I think it's one damage. It's, it's one damage one plus damage your strength, doesn't. which is zero, so it's one damage. Um, yeah, you're able to to grapple him in in just a fit of frustration, Ugh, and you give a kick to the stone. Kink! You see one of the little little pebbles of it ting, fly away and fly off. Uh, you do deal uh, one point of damage to the red crystal. Does the stone say anything to Aver oh, yes, when? Okay. Kelnold does the thing? Yes! Remove the crystal! Remove the cancer! Kill it! Okay, Dalek. We'll get it. Anything else say? Get! Kill the goddamn crystal! And I'm just gonna be like, pretending he could come back to life in any moment, you know? Ready okay. to grapple. Sure, sure, sure. Sammy, what would you like to do? Um... Can, is this rock big enough to see over? Uh, yes. You'd have to climb up it a bit. You'd have to climb up on the rock to see over it, really. Especially for you. That's a short jump. That is a short jump. So yeah, you could go here and you could see over. So yeah, you can you can you can do that. Easy enough. Okay. Sammy's gonna do that. Okay. And then shoot this crystal. Okay. Roll to hit. Hey. That does hit. I don't think you get sneak attack. Nope. Not unless it's advantage. Nope. But that's fine. Uh, it embeds itself straight into the crystal this time. This time, one of the larger central ones. Ting! The top of it shattering off. <laughs> Uh, you deal eight points of damage to the crystal. Anything else, Sammy? Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to hide. Okay, roll a stealth check, please. While you're doing that, Tucklin, we come to you. Hi. So, does charging get me anything? It's hard to charge her, or is it... I don't I mean, know. It doesn't, I don't think it does a lot of extra damage. I think it just adds damage or something. I can't find charge on his character sheet, so I guess it's like a rule. I think he has it like as a ability where you can move an extra certain amount of feet yeah. towards an enemy, but it's not a it's not a damage thing. I would I would recommend not using anything that has limited uses and requires recharges. All right, so he's just gonna move to here. Uh, as he's starting to move, uh, can I as a reaction try and hold him and uh, shout at him? No, the crystal, Tucklin, the crystal. He's gonna ignore you. He's gonna, ah! I mean, you can gonna try and hold him then. Reaction, hold him in place. <laughs> All right, for Thera, for Flair, we'll do it. Um, contested grappling. Uh, Tucklin, athletics or acrobatics? Victor, athletics, please. Nope, can't hold on to him. He is a man on a mission as he ex escapes your grasp. Uh, Victor, you no longer have a reaction. And Tucklin, you're able to make it there. Easy enough. Bash the lady, I guess. Okay. It's at disadvantage as she took the dodge action. I mean, I was going to say, well, that would change my opinion, but it wouldn't actually change <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> Does he get extra attacks and stuff? Like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does. He has extra attacks. Oh no, that was an attack mark. Anyway, two attacks. First one misses. 
Next one hits, and easy enough, whack, ah, falls to the ground with a solid thud. Then can he jump on this dude, like mount position, and just start pummeling his face? Like, you're supposed to stay dead, this isn't fair. I mean, for flair, yes, but mechanically it's not going to do anything. Well, he's going to use, oh no, he doesn't have this. Anything else? Nah, I guess that's it. But he does have attack opportunity and on one of these guys to try and protect as well as well. Okay. Uh, Conrad, we come to you. Hmm. And just as a reminder, because I saw you mapping it out, it's when a character starts a turn in the moonbeam, not when it just passes through them. Hmm. I didn't know that's how the spell works. Uh, enters these spells here for the first time or on a turn it starts. So then for the burning effect, it can't just be like passing over them, burning them. It has to be like has to consistently be on searing on them. Yeah. They have to start their turn on it. Or they willingly enter it the first time. Yes. Got it. Grumble, 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 grumble. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's still, they're not going to get an action before it kills them. Yeah, so pretty it's much. Not, it's no different. It's Another thing that I was thinking about is, if just, so if I were to, like, hold it over a body, every time they reanimate, they just die, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it ooh, hits, it actually, hold on. That would depend on the yeah, order that it... The turn in it. Yeah, yeah, that would, yeah. I mean, they the get to make a save, and I would... Idiot. They get to make a save... Which they fail if they have one point of health, but hey, who knows? So, well, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, that would work. I would try to center it, but Taklin's being an asshole. Good role play. <laughs> He's beating yeah. on a dead body. <laughs> Actually, I was literally—I uh, know—I was doing this on purpose to try to like establish Sentinel to protect the party while everyone else kills the crystals. And I guess we'll just hover it over these three then. Okay. So. There it goes. Is that your action? Yeah, so that's my action. So okay, I'll start I'll it. there. Um, and then I still have a bonus in movement. So let me see if I can do anything else. Uh, hmm. So do you mind if I just uh, roll the moonbeam ahead of time just so that you have reference? Sure. Actually, yeah, I'll, wait. Do... I'll okay. wait. Okay, whatever. Um, hmm. Bonish, bonish, bonish. Uh, t -t 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 -t. All my spells are actions, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? Who here looks really messed up? Say. Say, yeah. Uh, say. <laughs> I took 30 points. That too. Concentration. Uh, I think you have oh, more I health have than roll. her, though. I have to roll my concentration check. True. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, it's two individuals, so you actually have to roll two concentrations, say. Oh, that's a bonus. Okay. What is it again? Uh, con save. Con save? Okay, here mm -hmm. we go. I really want a magic item where I can do multiple concentrations. Saves. Fails. Fuck. So yeah, the oh, Hunter's Mark. I have to Mark. do it again for Hunter's Mark. Well, actually... Well, no, it was <laughs> because you... Well, because you took two instances of damage, you had to make the save twice. You made the first one, you failed oh, wait, the second no. one. I, yeah, this was Hunter's Mark, so I removed Hunter's Mark. Yeah, and I don't yeah. have Locate Object because I cast Hunter's Mark. Correct. Yeah, you lost Locate Object. Well, in that case, um, to, what would constitute a bonus action? Like examining stuff, or...? I'd say yeah. yeah you can look at something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious, if I were to dispel... Dispel magic on one of these um, red things. Can I harvest it? I'm basically just trying to ascertain its magical properties. Are you asking as the character trying to figure it out, or are you asking as a player? Uh, as a player, because I got oh, before I use a bonus action or something. Like I want to know. Um. If I. That yeah. might be possible. It could be fragments of it. It depends on how y'all handle this. 
You know what? Uh, just that ends my turn for now. Okay. Just maintaining cover. Um, Talklin, the lady beside you rises. Um, you all see this crystal glow uh, in the red energy beam shoot across the room, uh, almost hitting you, Lars, but just out of the way. Ding! Um, she rises once more. We have unfinished business, Sammy. Sammy's hiding. And attack of opportunity. Well, she's... Yeah, she's going to be moving towards you still. Well, Would she know said, where Sammy is? Uh, you get the idea that, yeah, she seems to be honing in directly on you. Um, Well, actually, you don't even get that idea because she makes the statement and turns in your direction... We have unfinished business and goes to move forward before Lars shink cuts her down uh, and she falls again to the ground. Oh, okay. Well, I'm saving my reaction for this guy then. That's fine. Uh, again, girts of blood from the interior of the crystal absorbed by the red crystal and pushed out. And actually, she'd be here because that's there at least he could. Yes. So uh, actually, it oh no, Talkman would it go first. Been... It would yeah, have been would have been Talkland, so Lars still technically has a reaction. Well, if Talkland hits, so Talkland roll. Oh yeah, it hits perfect. Yeah, so when it goes to leave, so she'd be right there. Okay. okay. Uh, again, Crystal erupts in energy, <laughs> and uh, Ta awakens in your grasp. Uh, 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 no, and he's gonna try to break free. Um, this will be an athletics check from you, say, at advantage. Yeah, you still got a sword in him. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, great. Uh, he does break free. Does that take an action to do so? Yes. To break free from a grapple, pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. so that means he can only stand up. A grappled condition. Give me one second. Because I think you can own, you can attack while in a grapple at disadvantage, or you can try and break free from the grapple. But if you take the attack action with somebody with multi-attack, you can attack twice, or however many times you get with the extra attack. Because you're still taking the attack action. All right, I'm just gonna take you all's word for it for now. Okay, so he succeeds, breaks free of the grapple, and. Uh, Stands back up over you, say, and that will be his turn. Quick question. What happens yes. with the sword? Because it was in him, so, like, is it get pushed out? Is you you just keep it. Gold? We're not going to get into that minutia. Well, then is it out of him, or is it still in his chest? <laughs> <laughs> do you want it to be in his chest? I don't... No. No, I don't think I do. If, it, if the grapple had held, yes, but no. Okay. So I'm going to, like, I'll withdraw it, and I get, I'll make sure I hold on to it. Yeah, know. yeah. No, you, you keep it. Okay. Um, from across the room, Sammy, the corner where you shot, you watch as the crystal again <laughs> and shoots it across the room. Uh, way across the room to the corner here where uh, the bowman revives, uh, stands up, and again faces you, Kelsey. Welcome home. Fires off another shot. Uh, Kelsey, you would take nine points of piercing damage as another longbow arrow finds its way into you. <laughs> I got a quick question. Yeah. I missed, I missed the explanation. Did the, the broken stone still have, like, the... No, it was... No, it was from across the room here. Uh, I see. As Josh did, is did it, did it, did grumbling. Did these guys? Wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm going to retcon that. No, because it wouldn't work that way. No, sorry, I'm going to retcon that. You see the energy beam pulse across the room, and it hits the body, and you do see its eyes flutter, and it very groggily starts and tries to get up. Um, 
but that is the extent of all that it does. I'll I'll say it's that way. All right, uh, Aveo. So does it attack then? No, it does not attack. It okay. takes the entire turn standing up, pretty much. Um, because it came from this stone. No, it came from it came from, came from across the room. Came from a different stone. This one. Uh, yeah, Veo, we come to you. Having sued the crystal. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to, like, back up, back up, back up until I'm, like, my back's against this pillar. Okay. And I'll be like, I'm so sorry. Oh, we're trying to help you. And then I'm going to rumbling charge the red crystal. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Um. I... Uh, I don't Would think crystals have a strength. Red. I don't think uh, crystals have a strength save to them. Um, balls to it. I'm just gonna say that yeah, it's a stationary object, and you're able to hit it square on. Uh, yeah, it is a barren. Quit that. It's a very solid hit, for me. huh? You can have for everyone. He's just not speaking. Yeah, sorry. I was Baron was doing things. Um, charge forward. Boom! A very solid strike into the crystal. A uh, multiple shards. Ting, ting, ting. Fly off. Scatter across the the floor. Um, as you deal twenty one points of damage to the crystal. Uh, a couple of very small shards remain at the base, but very very small amount. And yeah. So the crystal isn't destroyed. It is not yet destroyed, but it is heavily damaged. Uh, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I can also see it as bloodied right now. <laughs> well, you didn't get hit by that nine, I don't think. Did you? No. No. Oh, we. Yeah, we I reconned it. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, I reconned right. that. Sorry. Um. So yes, the crystal is very small. Very few remaining, and they are all cracked. Anything else avail? Is the guy next to me still up? Uh, yeah, he is standing and alive. Wait, does your rumbling uh, charge hit an area? No, it just hits the one thing that I okay. ran into. Okay. Um, I just was wondering if I can reach out and touch him. Yes. Read that. Reach out and touch thing. Oh, yeah, that does hit. Again, you reach out, grab his arm, <laughs> Uh, Salen, you watch as and he once again crumples to the ground. All I thought about them was just like an electric bug zapper. Yep. <laughs> uh, Aveo, anything else? Well, I mean, if he's wearing metal, it does more, but yeah. Yeah, it, 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 ta it takes one damage. Okay. <laughs> anything else? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Lars, we come to you. I'm just going to keep working on these grunts. Okay. What exactly are you doing? Uh, I'm doing a booming blade on this first guy. Okay. Okay, that hits. Murder. All right. Um, because of the way that I have him grouped in turn orders, it's not going to be that guy. It's going to be this gal. Uh, how do you want to do that to her? How do you want to do that? You can okay. still be where, you can still be where you are if you would like. Oh. Yeah. How uh, do you how do you want to do that to her? Uh, the great sword. So, uh, big old swooshing movement. <laughs> uh, I'm not great at describing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um. By the way, your greatsword needs to be dealing an extra three magic damage, which you are also not rolling for your attack. Um, I can get to that in a second. Yeah, easy big swing. Whoosh! Um, you actually cleave off part of her arm and it embeds itself into her ribcage. And she just gets thrown to the floor. A uh, 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 slosh of blood trail behind her. Uh, dead. Not worth dying for, guys. Okay, uh, anything else, Lars? Uh, second attack. Okay. On this guy. Uh, Roll this hit. one's just a greatsword swing. 
This guy, a little bit panicked, uh, goes to back away just as you swing. You strike the ground. Tish! Rocks and pebbles go flying. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Uh, Crystal, near you, Victor. Uh, again, creature inside. <laughs> Another energy beam. Uh, just over the head of you, Tuklin. As the individual stands up again. We have unfinished business as it walks around you and goes to, uh, goes towards Victor. I do not have a reaction now. Okay. Um, do 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 do. All right, Victor. Uh, you take twenty nine. Yep, twenty nine points of slashing damage. Boom, boom. Two more large attacks. And we round to your turn. I'm just gonna hit the crystal. Okay. Are you then? This one does not hit. I'm gonna hit the crystal again. Well, which crystal? The, the red one. Okay. The red one and fucking hang on. It's good enough for a tavern goer's knee. It's good enough for a crystal. <laughs> the second attack, you miss the first ting, it kind of bounces off. And the second one, you bring down, you spin the hammer, boom, and you hit the top point of a crystal, shattering one of them. Okay. Oh, that is that is a roll. Ooh. As, oh, six? No, it's. I was going to say it's max roll, too, but no. It's 3d8, and it's two ones. Yep. But you do deal an extra eight damage to the crystal. <laughs> There's a loud thunderclap in the room. <laughs> As the hammer glowing, uh, glowing divine once again, bang, smashes into it. Uh, the crystals look... A, sorry, what was that? It's not an undead crystal, is it? No, it's not an undead crystal. Um... The hammer hit initially causes a lot of damage, but this extra poof, oomph, uh, oomph put behind it shatters a few more. Ting! They fly around the room. Uh, Crystal looks heavily damaged, but uh, still still going. Anything else, Victor? I'm just going to turn to talk then. And keep this guy off of me while I hammer this thing in. And that's my turn. Okay. Kelsey, we come to you as Riam, you see him standing back up. Kelsey! He's pointing to you once again. We learn to just stay down! And I'm going to shoot him again. Uh. Which meets his armor class. Again, poof! Another bullet just as he goes to point out. Uh, uh, and he falls back down. And then because it's out of uh, ammo. Gonna reload? Um, I'm not gonna reload. I'm going to use this to draw the revolver. Okay, easy enough. And then take a shot at this crystal over here. Okay, is that within your range? Yep. If... Is that oh, your. Just barely out of it, actually. Okay, so I'll try for this one then. You still do have movement. Oh, yeah, movement's a thing. <laughs> I don't like moving. It usually means that I'm getting closer to people I don't want to get close to. Yeah. And I'm fine here. And that. that hits. Yeah, that hits. I am running dangerously low on ammo. Yes. Uh, another another shot rings out. Two more shots. Ding, ding. Um, the first one you watch another body fall. Kelsey g reaches up to a pillar. Shoulder against it, pulls out a revolver, bang, fires off another shot. Uh, multiple crystals, crystals <laughs> scatter around the room. Uh, this crystal looks heavily, heavily damaged, but still, uh, still existent, still going. Anything else, Kelsey? No, that's all I got. Okay. I rolled the uh, damage ahead of time just for that group, just so you know. Oh, I see that. Perfect. Uh, also, roll a. D3, if you could for me, please. 
Really? Hmm. Yes. Uh, Lars, the one before you, ah, uh, drops his bow, pulls out a longsword, and goes to, goes to hit you. Um, this is the stupidest system. We're not playing 40k. They should all be hit. <laughs> I just don't want to manage eight people. This is a lot more streamlined. Does an eight hit Lars? I hope not. I, I hope not. It shouldn't. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, you're nope. good. We'll do two of them. Um, one fails and becomes eviscerated. Ugh! He gets burned down. Uh, the other takes 11 points and seems relative, very injured, actually, uh, but still going strong. Um, they are going to move. They're going to move to the side a bit, having seen Aveo take a charge, and they're going to fire at you, Aveo. Do those hit? Moment, I gotta look at something. So I couldn't hear like half of that. That's fine. Aveo, um, the targeting you does twenty-two hit. Yes, they both hit. Or if that was a nineteen and a twenty-two, and I have Correct. resistance to piercing. Okay, so you take because they're on different attacks. So you take four points of uh, piercing damage post resistance. You take four points of damage. As the arrows ting ting uh, fly into you, and that is their turn. Uh, say, what would you like to do? I'm just going to turn and look at them. Easy enough. They, you, the one leading the charge, the woman seems steadfast. The guy in the back who's injured, you see his eyes widen a little bit of panic. Ugh. Um, I'm so sorry. Can I use a? Can I have used my free action to yell at Taquin? Let me keep them down. Yeah, easy enough. Say, we come to your turn. What would you What would you like to do? Calnor. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so I hit the wrong button, and it reloaded roll 20, so I need a moment. That would do it. It's your turn. What would you like to do? Reload the roll 20 first. <laughs> Taking a swing. I'm about to attack, so... I'm gonna hit the, uh... What do you call it? The red crystal. Okay. That hits, and with a with a flurry of glitter and motion, ting! The, some crystals become scattered across the room. Most of it turns into dust as the remaining bit of crystal is... destroyed. Down to a very, very small and dim nub. So he's going to use extra attack, convert to a menace on the injured guy, mm -hmm. and then, look, there's only one way you get out of this alive. Okay. Was well, that a wizard say? Very kid. It's like she just smashed the crystal. Mm -hmm. She's just like, there's only one way out of this alive. She's acting like just, you know, this is a two for us. Sure, sure. Uh, roll intimidate. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> Uh, 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 and he, uh, what is it? He's frightened now? Yeah. I think, where is that? And she's heard what I said. She doesn't get intimidate put on her, though. But, no. Yeah. Frightened. There's a screaming. That's perfect. Anything else to say? Uh, wait, did, no, I lost that. So, I guess I'll use move. Wow. I'm gonna try some. Can I like drag Tog's body to like here? Um, you'd have half movement, and that would be the end of your turn. Yeah, and I'll it's at the end for flavor. I'm turning to face this chick. Okay, so you put Tog's body there. Yeah, I'm trying to break line of sight with the other crystals. Easy enough. Okay. Yeah, she seems a little bit... She still seems steadfast in her intention. Oh, come on, then. Let's okay. get this over with. Sammy, what would you like to do? 
Sammy shall hop down off his rock, fire a bolt at this crystal. Mm -hmm. Roll the hit. Uh, pings off one of the one of the smaller crystals. Ting. And as a bonus action, he will use his healer's kit on Victor. Okay. Which I will set up in a second. That's fine. And you still have a bunch of movement, I think. Anything else you would like to do with that? Just hide behind Victor. Okay, that's fine. Talklin, what would you like to do? What does Wardens do? The Wardens mark? Uh, I forget. Plus two damage, and then you can basically track them effortlessly. So it doesn't let, doesn't let you hit. I don't think no, it makes it's... it easier, no. Let me keep them down, Talklin. So he's going to look at Victor and say, Ah, why are you having so much trouble with a weed that rock? Walk right past this guy. Okay. No, I just noticed Talkman has like a stone thing. Hang on. Also, the Victor did shout at the Talkman before to keep this guy off me. Oh, here I do. Can I try to like roll something to then get advantage to on the hit on this thing? Uh, well, what what would you try to do? Try to find a weak spot in the rock that I can target or something to get some kind of advantage in hitting the rock. I mean, you could take a moment to investigate, but that would consume most of your turn. An intelligence history check. So, yeah. no. Alright, I'm just going to swing at it then. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. How do I do that? Uh, hit the word, and it should just do it automatically. Hit the Warhammer ah, word. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Talklin, you take a, you round up and take a mighty swing. Bang! Much like the other crystals. Ting! Many of the smaller pieces go flying and scattering across the floor. Ting, 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 ting. Uh, most of it turns into dust and glitter as the crystal is turned into a dim, small nub. Ah, it was so beautiful, too. And then, like, when the bounce comes up, he's going to ride the bounce over his head, overhand swing right down on the other guy's head. Okay, roll to hit. Your turn, Sonny. <laughs> oh, don't even roll damage. A, a solid crunch. <laughs> you almost compress his body into a pile of bones as he falls to the ground, dead. He just looked at Victor. Like, what was so difficult about that? <laughs> Anything just else? Talk split him in half. He's got a bonus action. I don't think he's. I could eat. Does he have a ranged bonus attack? Probably not. No. no. He might have no, a javelin, you. but not as a bonus. Yeah, it wouldn't work as a bonus. So it's gonna... I guess that's the end of his turn. Okay. Conrad, we come to you. So seeing how effectively Taklin just basically, like, pulped some guy's head, um, there's gonna be a millisecond of, like, a double blink and kind of reconsidering where to put the moonbeam. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just vocalize to the party, first person to respond, um, do you want me, uh, do you want me to keep them down or should I kill the archers? Just take him out. Shouting, keep him down. Just keep him down. Okay, so then, uh, that's what I. Yeah, keep him down. Okay, so um, the moonbeam is just gonna go directly here. Lars, you feel Easy your enough. skin on fire for a second, but no damage is taken. No. Nope. That's apparently how it works. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, keep him down. I got this going. No problem. And then let me just think about bonus and stuff. It um, feels like just a light sunburn, Lars, as it passes over you. English. Vacation on the beach. Mm -hmm. That's all this is, is a vacation on the beach. <laughs> I'll keep you around um, for spa day. I want to use my movement, though. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'll um, I'll go ahead and engage him. Um, uh, you wouldn't be able to pass. Party. You wouldn't be able to pass through the rock, but you could. I see. You could. Actually, wait a second. Is it a magical rock, or is it not a magical rock? 
Uh, the magical rock rock is sitting atop a regular rock, so if you could go through rock, I guess you could walk under the crystal? Wait a second, let me see how this works. Land stride. Non-magical... Uh, you can pass through non-magical plants. Oh, it's not stone, though. It's plants. Okay. Yeah, it's plants. Mind. Don't hurt the blue rock. It's not its fault. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So um, it just kicks the rock over. <laughs> Take a technically end up there, and since we're using 40k rules, um, I was going to say that, uh, are they... Do they have any, like, melee weapons on them, or is it all ranged? Uh, they have short... They have long swords on them, but right now they have out bows. Mm -hmm. But it just takes a bonus action to switch over. Yeah, I know. I already used my action to move that. Uh, I guess you know what I'll, I'll just stay here for now. And uh, is is it okay? Because I have to comb over my spells. But um, if I do cast a bonus later, it's it's going to be a beneficial one. So can I retcon that? If, uh, if possible. Depends on it, but probably. Cough, help! Cough! Do help! 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 Cough. Oh, I'm, that's why I'm looking over my healing spells that take a bonus. So, anyway, I think the I only I think the only bonus healing is maybe a healing word. Okay, then uh, and my turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, the crystal from the corner once again uh, illuminates as the knight in the corner stands up. You will all no wait, what is it? You will pay for what you've done, Sammy. She stands up just as the beam <laughs> goes over her and just knocks her. Back to the ground. Later, nerd. Uh, another beam from across the room. Damn it. <sighs> Passing through stone and bodies. Actually, oh, it could make a proper line, almost. Um, reaches out and, and strikes Ta. What a good fight. It's much more lethargic and takes a lot of time. He takes a while to stand up and does stand, but that is all he does for his turn. But he gives advantage, Jet. Uh, same thing with the archer in the corner. Stands back up, but takes a while. And we come to Aveo. Would you consider a person standing beside behind another person to be a immovable object or something that um, something to be thrown it would hit them also or yeah I would say it'd be too. collateral damage it wouldn't be a hundred percent because it's not totally immovable but it would it would work as a surface to bounce something off of more or less uh okay so here's here's the thing I've, mm -hmm. I've got two different things I either I'm gonna throw an icicle Mm -hmm. at the white girl, or I'm going to run into her. Okay. And the icicle said that if it has an immovable object behind them, they get pinned to it. Uh, I would rule that it would do the half damage part. pass through into the person. Uh, it might slow them down, but it wouldn't pin them together. But it would, it would cause an effect behind the person. Okay. I'm cool. going to just kind of take a sidestep and then actually just charge at the Archer who shot at me, who's not injured. Okay. Oh, Gave sorry, you one. This, one. this reminds me of how we Ooh, met. Strength Edgar. save. Makes it. Uh, half damage. Yeah, half damage. Okay. She takes six points of bludgeoning as you run up into her. Boom! Of uh, the guy, the frightened guy behind her, basically catches her. Ah, ah, no, no, and starts uh, freaking out even more. I'm going to whisper to him, kind of, run. Ha! Ha! Anything else? That's it. All right, Lars, we come to you. Who so, kind of had an idea, and not sure if it's right. Um, I'm sure. going to go over to this crystal on the top right-hand side. Okay. And provoke an attack of opportunity? Yes, it would. Which I don't think hits. Does not. Uh, can I inspect it and see if there's any way to uh, flip the switch in the programming so that it's not 
their allies now, so that they're on our side. Kind of we're in control of the the magic that's going through this crystal. Okay. Make an Arcana check if you could please. Um, it's not so much that there's programming on the crystal is the vibe that you get from. It's more so it has a purpose, which its purpose is to pull life from one source and push it into another. Um, what that source is and does seem to not be controlled by this medium. Okay. Um, I think that's it for me. If that was an investigation action or... I'd say that could be a bonus. I'd say that could be a bonus. It's just a quick look at it. Uh, does it look like there's any way to remove the crystal so that it doesn't interact with the uh, the blue crystal or kind of turn it off? Sure. Uh, this right. would consume right. the rest of your turn, just so you know. But right. you could, yeah, you could take a chance to look at that. Let's do a investigation check, if you could please. Um. It seems to be, almost as described prior, uh, a cancer of the rock. It seems to be melded into the the larger blue stone. Um, it was grown onto it, and maybe with some time and resources, you could fashion a way to pull it off, but the amount of time that it would take to do so and the complexity of doing so um, would be more or less a trial of errors. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. Um, which, as you're looking at and, and, and investigating it, the crystal once again flares up and poof, shoots a beam of energy through you. Um, it hits Victor, the being, the, the guy next to you who begins to stand up. You and I have... And it just falls back to the ground. Uh, dead once again. Ah. Hit him that hard, he can't get back up. It's <laughs> actually pretty good. Victor, what would you like to do? Uh, Victor is just gonna waltz on over. Let's see. Kelnor, I I just wanted to say I do appreciate you playing a character who basically uses magic, and now you're role playing a character who doesn't believe in magic. <laughs> magic what? But you think the earth is flat too? Jeez. I just wish you stopped doing a Scottish accent because it's terrible. But it's a dwarf accent, which by definition is a terrible Scottish accent. <laughs> if you do a proper Scottish accent, it's not a dwarf it accent. Pains anymore. me though. It only counts as one. Victor, what are you doing? Still only counts as one. Reynolds, if you're talking, I can't hear you. That was. Sorry, I was thinking, uh, Victor's gonna walk over to this guy. Okay. Um, he's gonna hit him. Okay. That's right, mate. Roll a hit, please. Off the hoist, you gotta get right back on it. That was Irish, so sorry about that. Yeah, easy enough. Fall on the horse, you gotta get back on it. You can I'm bring... You... Okay. You raise up your hammer and bring it down onto his shoulder. Crack! You feel the, uh, armor beneath it buckle and bend and... and give a very, uh, gassed creak. Uh, arr, the individual goes and holds his arm as he uh, stumbles back. Heavily injured, but still standing. Hit him again. Okay. Uh, this one does not hit. This time he raises his sword and just barely... It, it's just able to deflect the blow. <clears throat> Anything else, Victor? Uh, Trish is gonna look up back over to Sammy and deal with the last one. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Kelsey. All right. Um, I am going to uh, shoot the last pistol over here with the revolver. Okay. Roll to hit. Easy enough. The crystal takes the impact of the bullet. Ting! Shatters. Bit of glamour. Lars, just as you were inspecting it and thinking, oh, maybe there might be a way. <laughs> it all explodes in your face. Make two feet for your face. <laughs> um, as this last crystal explodes, um, say from beside you, you see Ta. Oh, we have a good. He falls to the ground. Um, Aveo, out of the corner of your eye, same thing with the archer in the corner. Kelsey, well, ugh. falls down. Yeah, that figures. 
Nice try, Tom. Nice try. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Kelsey? Reload the rifle. Okay. Does that end of your turn? Kelsey? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think the train going by. No, you're good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, Lars, individual. Um, Lars, the individual. Not Lars. Victor, the individual before you, turns and begins to sprint away. Let us through! Yep. Let us through! He's running for the back wall. I'm gonna take the attack. Okay. That, that does hit. Uh, in the future, please clarify before you swing what the type of damage is. But yeah, easy enough. He goes to turn. Let us in! Let us... And you just quack him on the back of the head. And he falls face first onto the ground. Unconscious. Um, uh, taking that incentive and having already been frightened, the the guy in the back, um, you see him sprint for the wall. Let us in! Let us in! He starts beating on the wall. Um, arcane ripples vroom, 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 with each uh, fistfall. Uh, Aveo, same thing with the girl. She's just going to start running away. Let us in! Let us in! I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Uh, that's their turn. Say, what would you like to do? They, uh, go ahead and ask the rock if everything's cool now. And she's just, like, walking towards these two. <laughs> just completely, like, yeah, nonchalant. I, 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 I think it needs to get fixed. But... Well, go talk to it, see what you can do. I'll take care of these two. Okay. Don't don't hurt them too bad. I mean, it's up to them, and that's when she looks back at these two. <laughs> Say anything Can I else? Can ask you to put your weapons down? Ah, ah, let us in! Let us in! More, Crimson more guards looking for interns. Let them go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just like continue walking up behind them and just start like de disarming them, like taking their weapons off or like unbuckling the belt that kind of thing um say as you begin to do that um you hear the guy yell no don't touch me no don't no 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 don't touch me um and you begin to feel a, a heat emanate from the wall before you just don't go back towards the wall I don't want to do that anything else say i'm going to try to disarm them like I don't like. I don't want them to have weapons. <laughs> All right, you can start the process if you would like. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, Sammy, what would you like to do? Uh, Sammy will walk over to this point here. Mm -hmm. I think that was thirty-five feet. Mm -hmm. Yep. And as he starts to walk the next 10 feet, taking his bonus action to dash, essentially, even though sure. he's walking. Walking, I got that. He'll just say, um, what's your plan here, Missy? And just walking, arms crossed. Sure. Uh... So, sword in hand, just not... Just waving it about. Um, aggressively, just sure, sure, just sure. waving it. A bit panicked. Um, still, still yelling. Uh, and and any time now. Anything else you want to do? Um, maybe you should just drop those weapons, or your end might not be pretty. Okay. Talkland, we come to you. Yep, he's gonna walk right through that moonbeam. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does. He's entering it, so he oh, wouldn't. If, if he's entering it, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, he doesn't believe in magic. So. <laughs> he doesn't believe in magic. <laughs> I hate this character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <all right. laughs> what was the. Uh... 
It's a I'm it's a con that. save. Um, no, did you already yeah. roll it for the first time? Or no, we didn't roll anything because uh, it was well, just I mean, any damage. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, so go ahead and roll damage. Oh, okay, wait. there you go. Does he so. have anything against con saves? Yep, save. Nope. I mean, he's got a 26. <laughs> yeah. Super save. So you but take so hard he some damage. Take any damage. Too. You yeah. take. Probably has something to reduce. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is he within 10 feet of me? Yes. Uh, he has resistance to magical attacks. Then... Beautiful. Well, he's already. <laughs> he's already. <laughs> oh no! You take. Then you take two points of damage because it's halved and then resistance. I'm looking to see if there's anything else because if it does zero damage, it's gonna be beautiful. Cause, like... <laughs> He really doesn't believe in magic at that point. <laughs> he believes in magic so hard it can't damage. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, it doesn't work. I'll survival test at non-point gift. <laughs> Odin's promise, no. I think there's one where he, if he's below half health, he takes uh, resistance to all point, like damage or something like that. But can't yeah, stack yeah. He already has resistance. It doesn't apply, I don't think. Only to do physical attacks, I think, like bludgeoning and stuff. Oh, if only he was 13, because he, he gets evasion at level 13. It would have it would have done no damage. Save. That's hilarious. Oh, it's Ev dexterity, you're right? Yeah. Evasion is dex. Is dex. Well, it might be different for his class. Anyways, you take two points of radiant damage, Toklin, as you walk through the beam. It just a light charring, a pretty heavy sunburn is what it feels like. Ah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Seem hotter in here for the. Oh, I can't do Scott. It's like, it's like, like as he's drunk a bad victory. batch or something. <laughs> he's walking by offer walking by victory. He like offers him uh, a water the water skin thing. It's like it seems a little hot in here to you. <laughs> I start looking back towards the moonbeam. Depends where exactly, I guess. And uh, then I guess he'll just give a sidelong glance at these two. Just be like... Sure. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I guess he could think about the rock now. So a history check, I guess. You good? You want to walk back to the rock? Well, I mean, he's just thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Right? Um. Yes, it would be history. Do a history check. If you could please. So you get you're considered proficient in the history skill and add double your proficiency bonus, so Okay. So we'll uh, Yeah. Oh no, it's um I think dwarf racial thing. So I roll uh, yeah, history. Please. Roll history. Yeah. And then what is your what is All your right. proficiency? Uh it's a three. Alright, so five. Um doubled. No, that's me adding an extra set of proficiency. There should be three built into it. Oh, no, there's not, because you're Actually, not proficient in it. Yeah. So wait, would it still add double? Or does so it say if you're double? Where still? is his sheet? There it is. Oh, you're considered proficient. You're right, so it would be six. Okay. And so wait, consider proficient and adds double yeah. on top of that? Yep. With specifically with stonework. Okay. Oh, instead of at the end it says instead of your normal proficiency. So yeah. it makes it like eight. Yeah, so it's eight. Um You can understand that the origin of these stones are actually they seem to be kind of from this area it might have been something that was discovered while they were sectioning out this this cave even so. Um, and as you look at the walls, they seem to be covered over in stone, but you do catch glimpses of a red shimmer and a larger blue shimmer uh, along the walls. So they seem to be innate from the area. Huh. Anything else, Talklin? Nah, that's all he's got. Alright, Conrad? So at the very tail end of um, Victor being like, well, I guess it depends where. It's going to just start flying overhead um, to the other side over here. Okay. So that's my action. Okay. And then uh, I will spend my movement 
Uh, kind of sauntering, you know, like doing a, a little bit of a move over here. So that's my 30 feet. And then as a bonus action, I want to scan the room just to kind of see if I can gauge the health of, like, the party as a whole and see if there's anybody who's, like, really critical. Cough, cough, sure. Cough. Let's do a perception check real quick as you look over. A perception, you say? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yeah, uh, you can see that uh, Victor is pretty injured, Say is pretty injured, everyone else seems pretty tip-top. Kelsey's pretty injured. Kelsey's yeah, Kelsey. very injured, relative. Talkland has a few, a few minor burns, like a sunburn. Yeah, Talkland's mostly fine. Kelsey's very injured. Yes. So... In terms of percentages, Kelsey might be the most injured. In terms of numbers, I think it's probably Victor? No, I have a... hmm. Oh yeah, you healed I him. Mean, I forgot about that. Out of if I yeah, if yeah. I ended up did taking the if I ended up if I did take that nine, I'd be at twenty four out of fifty. Since I didn't, I'm at thirty three out of fifty. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna drop the wall. Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I've got I've got some really good stuff, but only if like we're not going to be in combat for like a few turns. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna exit out of combat in a in a round or two. Oh good god! Then yes. Um. So in that case, can I? Did that count as my bonus action or not? Hey, you took a you took a cursory glance. You're fine. Okay, so I will actually instead it will dissipate my uh, moonbeam, but I'm gonna cast healing spirit at. This thing's gonna last. Here, let me do a quick little bit of math. This is important. It lasts up to a minute, which is ten rounds. So that is gonna be ten d six worth of healing to people. I think it'll be enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cast this at level two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon. Okay. Um, what's a cool? Um, I'm gonna just summon some sort of um, Norse fairy, um, and it's okay. just gonna appear on um, Kelsey's shoulder. And it's just going to suddenly start speaking in some unknown language. Um, yeah, Kelsey, you're just going to hear a very female pixie voice going, Gertie, 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 Gertie. Just stand that up there, I think, if it's fake. And then, let's see. So I think it starts its action there, so you get 1d6, I think. Let me just double check. Cause is restored. No action required. Okay, so bonus action on your turn. You can. Okay, so yeah, you get three points of healing right now. And that's the first round. I feel um, slightly better. Uh, yes. How did Fae get in here? <laughs> because he was speaking in Fae? Or... Conrad? Wait, what, what did you say? Is the pixie uh, Fae? Um, transparent beast or Fae? Yeah, it's Fae. <laughs> and then what was it saying? <laughs> well, no, it depends on what language it's speaking. So, um... The language if, of if the you're okay, is. If you're okay with... Sylvan. Um, Sylvan. It could be Sylvan. Or Northwegic. It's up to you. Sylvan. It's in the <laughs> game, it's Sylvan. Reynolds? Do you I speak Sylvan? Do you understand Sylvan? Yes. <laughs> you know what the fairy's saying. Alright, DM, what is it saying? <laughs> you're gonna feel so good and so nice. You feel so nice. Just let me let me heal you with my words and my feelings and my touches. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Get this thing away from me. <laughs> hey, you don't know what it's saying. Yeah, all you hear is Gertie. Gertie, 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 Conrad, anything else? Actually, wait a second. I'm trying to see if I can maximize how we heal everybody. Because if I can... All right, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, you can figure that out while, while you're going about. You already did your stuff. Aveo! Unless you had an action that you wanted to take. Is that to me? or To, to you, yeah. Um, I, so I was just rereading the spell, so I think the first time I cast it, I can't use my bonus action to move it, so for now, it just appears on Kelsey. It's on Kelsey, I'm gonna yeah. have the, I'm gonna have the fairy fly through people, and I'm hoping they're within 30 feet of each other. I'll just say, um, all the injured, go to, uh, Kelsey or... It's fine, it's, we can be a little bit looser with that. Um, uh, Aveo, what would you like to do? Just 
real quick. The last thing Say said was, see if that crystal will help us or something. Sure. Aubrey? So, um, am I up? Yes, yes, yep. yes. All right, so I'm going to actually walk over to this other crystal that we injured mm -hmm. and uh, mending on it. Yeah, easy I enough. That, that helps. You hear the you I hear also, the crystal from like, behind I, you that still has energy. Yes, re yes, that ha yes. Thank you. I'm gonna yell over to it like, "Is the cancer gone? Are you are you guys better? Is everything better?" Cancer is gone, but still full. Please, weird magics must be gone. Weird magic? What do you mean weird magics? What what can we do? Do you feats, know? Feats, feats. Look at feats. Feats are stuck and weird. Is it, is it the stone? Do we need to be disconnected from the, the stone you're on? Weird feats. Weird shoes. Please, please help. Please help. Guys, I, it's talking about its feet, and I don't know if this is the stone that it's sitting on. Um, but we need—I think we need to get them off the stone. Maybe we need to help these crystals. I can is help that, you, little one. Is that he's just gonna look over the base of all the crystals? Sure. See if he sees anything. Well, when you get to your turn, you can do that. Avail, anything right. else? Um, I do want to inspect the stone that I'm right next to. Sure. Uh, roll me a investigation check, please. You look at the base of the crystal in arcane... <laughs> Say again? I really want to help this stone. I, I get that. Um, arcane symbols and glyphs aren't really your thing. You don't know exactly what they say. But this is true. If you have inspiration, you could okay. retro. But these glyphs you have seen before, and you do actually know what they what they read, and it's a sort of uh, binding. Anything I could... say again? Aubrey, say again. Just carry on. I guess. Sure. She muted herself. Yeah. Um, at the base of the crystal with the glyphs, you can see that they are sort of in an imprisonment. Um, in nature, uh, confinement and and levitation, and you can take note that the blue crystals are kind of hovering off of the solid rock that these arcane glyphs are on. Um, there is a small flickering of red light uh, from these glyphs emanating from the rock at the base. Okay, so I'm actually able to like understand things that I touch. Sure. So. Um... I get more information by touching them, or is it just basically like this is the glyph that's controlling this? Sure, yeah. As crystal. as you reach out and touch the touch the glyphs, they do kind of form more uh, concrete details in your mind, and they are, in fact, as you suspected, uh, uh, ways of levitating the rock and maintaining it in place, and then confinement um, of whatever is within the rocks, and a uh, unusual one that links all of them together. Okay, so Conrad's right behind me. I'm going to turn to him and let him know uh, what I found. The glyphs. Yep. And am I Easy shocked enough. to hear her kind of talking at a slower pace and being more methodical about it? It's not so much oh, no, that... I'm not <laughs> Sorry, do you want me to do the voice? <laughs> sure, yeah, you can go for it, Aubrey. Always, <laughs> always, yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh wait, okay, so there's some arcane runes on this thing and they're they're talking about uh like confinement and it's it's levitating too and uh, there's some other thing that's like connecting all of these things and I think they're all actually kind of connected as one. Um which kind of makes sense because like the red orbs were kinda of, like giving the power to each one, even if it wasn't like the one that was directly connected to them. So um I, do you know anything about this? Do I know anything about this? Um it's that was amazing. It's a bit uh it's a bit out there for what you know. You deal with more nature, not these manufactured machined uh pieces. But you you do know of magics that, you know, confine, levitate, that link other magics together. Um yeah. You you get the gist of what she's saying. 
Just nod and kind of, again, my half eye, I'm kind of having to monitor the, uh, the little fairy. Okay, yeah, easy enough. Um, uh, Aveo, are you good? Yep, we're good. Perfect. Lars, you hear this explanation from across the room. It's rather open, open cavern. There's just these couple of uh, grunts yelling, but you can get the gist of what was being said. What would you like to do? Um, so are we thinking that if we push all of these off of their pedestals at the same time or something, that it'll disconnect? Or, um, no, I guess... you have to dispel the, ruin, uh, the runes or something. Yeah, Destroy the runes in some way. Um, d okay, does it look like basically it would need a dispel in order to get rid of it? Or is it something that we can physically um, get rid of? Or Lars, having practiced in magics before, you understand that there are multiple s answers to this situation. But you also recognize the linkage of the red crystals around the room, how you had to destroy all of them to stop resurrections from occurring. Okay. Um, I guess other than that, I'm just going to go up to the barrier uh, and see if there's any way to interact with that, what that's about. Okay. Um, as you approach, you're, you're greeted by this intense heat, very intense heat that's growing in temperature. Um, this is a very, very high levels in volatile magic. Um, and it seems to be emanating more and more energy by the passing seconds. Hey, that's cool. With his avatar up against the wall, it actually looks like he's reaching out to touch off the wall. Oh, there we go. Hey! <laughs> Works out. Uh, I guess that's probably it for me. Okay. Uh, Victor, what would you like to do? Having recently knocked this person unconscious. Uh, Victor's just gonna look back at the... Mixie and be like, oh... Speaking in Zillin. Oh hey, you're one of the good ones, aren't you? Yes, 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 I like, I like helping, I like, I like healing. Again, Josh, uh, or again, Kelsey. From your shoulder, um, hurdy gurdy, hurdy hurdy gurdy, hurdy 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 hurdy. But now you hear Victor from the corner, hurdy gurdy, hurdy 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 hurdy. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then Victor's just gonna try and uh, tie the um, the unconscious guy on the ground to a hog thing. Uh, sure, easy enough. Uh, that's let's the, do a the... let's do a sleight of hand as you attempt to do so, Victor, if you could please. Conrad, would would the Fay let Victor know that he wants that she wants him to come closer to say? Just just saying. To, uh, to, well, so I don't. I mean, I, I told every so Conrad said everyone get towards Kelsey or Victor, who is injured. Um, but that's about the only instruction. Well, just that since Victor can talk to the Fay, I wasn't sure if the Fay would say something. Oh, um, if anything, honestly, I think the Fae would be like, I have been brought here uh, temporarily to, yeah, bring you all healing and good joy and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I was just trying to throw out a possibility there. Kelsey, uh, with it yes. being your turn, what would you like to do? Uh, I still did um, have movement, if I may. Oh, yeah, no, you may move. Yes, sorry. Uh, was it my action to... to your action was to tie him up. Yep, you still have movement. Then I'm just gonna shoot me over next to Kelsey and just uh, say something to Kelsey, like, oh, hey, I'm just gonna sit here for a while and then in Sylvan's with Mixie while you do your job, eh? Okay. Kelsey, as Victor approaches you, has that conversation. What would you like to do? Um, just as a, uh, I does not require an action, go ahead and heal three points as you enter that space as well. Wait, how much sp I thought it was, oh, is it a five foot radius? Yeah, it's just so as long as you enter in that space. Because so it, how it works, it's literally not part of this reality, but anybody who enters the space, I can How big is the space? To, it's basically a, def, or a five foot space. So it's occupying the same space right now as Kelsey. Is okay. it a five foot radius sphere or is it a one space? Uh, no, it has to be the, the space itself. Okay, so only Kelsey is receiving the healing right now. Correct. Oh, yes. I thought the thing had moved over to Victor. Sorry. 
Well, it has to go back to Conrad's turn for him to move it over. To move through, yeah. Kelsey, what would you like to do? Um, I am just gonna nod and then I'm going to take out my damn uh, ammo crafter that and make ammo because I'm dangerously low and I don't want to be. Alright. And what was the role for that again? I haven't been forever. Um, God, just do an intelligence check. We'll we'll get into that later. <laughs> oh boy. You're it's it's been a hot minute since you made some probably. Um, and you're a little bit panicked. You're a little bit rushed. You're a little bit injured. Um, you succeed in creating what was it ten? I think you make ten on a failure. That works fantastic. Yeah, so you're able to make 10 bullets. I feel much better now. Okay. Anything else, Kelsey? And with my movement, I'm going to go over to this crystal and give it a once-over to see if there's any way to, to move the the big blue crystal off of its stand. Sure. Uh, give me an investigation check, please. Investigation. Oh, yeah, this is all the same number. It's um, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> You look it over, and I mean, there's nothing holding the crystal down. There's some arcane runes on the bottom, but that's, you know, could be anything. Nothing seems to be holding it. Hmm. Well, magical doohickeys, I don't know shit about them. Yeah. That's, my, that's my turn. Okay. Guy's unconscious on the ground, still unconscious. Uh, you'll watch as the... The wall slightly opens up, and these two uh, protectors that are kind of pressed up against it uh, essentially fall through the wall, and then they become enveloped once more. Um, Conrad, can you roll? Uh, can you roll your damage for your thing again? Oh no, it dissipated when I uh, cast the, um, oh. the pixie. Okay. Have opportunity. Oh uh, yeah, then you would. Same, same, same with Sammy. Okay. Uh, who on what? I guess I'm not the injured guy because it's afraid of me. Yep. Roll to hit Salem. Sammy, you can only go for... Yep, that hits. And he, as he falls through, you slice his back. Ugh! And he falls through dead on the other side. Sammy, you also connect onto her, which I think you get the sneak attack because of Say. Yeah, because within five feet of Say, yeah. Uh, the, the wall, you watch as it opens up... And you can peer in and you see a couple of the people on the far side. Um, some behind pillars, one behind the desk. You see your tilter head a, bit, held, head a bit. But you both react on instinct and slice down the people before you. They each uh, fall through the wall, um, crumpled dead on the other side. Uh, and the wall encloses them. Whoosh. And again, this heat begins to grow and emanate. Woof, woof, woof. Um... That Sammy's? wasn't the way you hey. get out of here alive. Yeah. Sammy's just going to get back behind one of the pillars if you can. Okay, so that's Sammy. Say, what are you doing? Yep, same thing. Lars, what are you doing? Yeah, I guess I'm going to back away. All right, just as you guys step away, the wall itself. <laughs> and uh, Sammy, you can feel a very intense heat. Um, the pillar itself being charred. Uh, the body of the archer over here <laughs> igniting into flames in this entire area uh, being bathed in heat. Some of the rock near the wall actually melting and almost turning into a lava trough. Um, the flame continues for a few moments then <laughs> dies down. The charred and uh, glowing rock at the base of it re-solidifies and begins smoking. <laughs> um, we are... Out of combat. Uh, what would you all uh, like to do? Say so switching to longbow real quick. Um, so for the next, or I guess the last nine rounds of the pixie, um, if it's free form, can I just apply the healing to everybody? Or yes. I... So roll. Okay. So roll. 96. Roll ninety six, and then you'll have to determine which die goes to who. And we'll just do it. Well, so whenever whenever it goes through somebody, it automatically gets a, a d six. Well, that's what I'm saying. You'll have to determine who gets what D6. So just hit the path, say, you're one, you're two, you're three. Exactly. Oh, no, what I mean is, if 
people are within 30 feet of each other. It can just literally spend a bonus action flying 30 feet. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people would receive 1d6 of healing. Next um, round would happen. I'm going to read that flying. again. Huh? I'm going to read that again because I feel like that's a little bit too much. But... I'll show you. It's right here. Spirit so appears within a 5 feet cube. You can see within range. The spirit looks like transparent feet until the spell ends. Whenever you or a creature you see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn, or it starts its turn there, you can cause the spirit to restore... Da -da 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 -da. The spirit can't heal constructor dead as a bonus action. Your turn, you can move the spirit up to 30. That's fine. Okay, so you can put it at one point, and everyone that's near it can receive healing uh, for whoever would like. So I was going to say, if, if that's not allowed, then I'll just have, I'll instruct everyone to form a conga line and go in a circle through yeah. the spirit. So, so it's not so much you, much like the moonbeam, it's not how you move it to apply the healing, it's people moving through it to gain the healing. Which, and, um, when we're out of combat, can be just thematically, everyone gets in a circle around it and it, like, caresses everybody and everybody I'm gets the healing. I'm going to take an opportunity for the next 52 seconds to go into a, um, a story about how in a, um... During the uh, the springtime when stuff starts blooming, I would often lead lead processions for my tribe, yada yada, that kind of thing. So sure. everyone get thirty three points of healing. Split Same. between everyone. Every, everyone who spends the next minute interacting with the pixie gets thirty three points of healing. Correct. I'll chat with her a little bit. So yeah, if you spend thirty seconds, you get the first four, the first five. Um. If you spend the whole minute, you get all of it. Kelsey was the only one to receive the first D6 of benefit, so that's only the next 52 seconds, or 54 sure. seconds. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and say I had this moment here with the pixie. Yay. So, Talkland, or not Talkland. Conrad, you were doing that. Uh, who is doing what? Talkland is going to, while staying with the pixie, kind of maybe try to figure out if there's a way to get rid of that rock, like using a stone cutting torch or whatever. Which rock? What are you talking about? Pillar. Separate separate the magic rock that isn't a magic rock from the not magic rock that is a not magic rock. Uh, all of the all of the red rocks are very, very tiny nubs essentially on the base of the floating blue uh, large crystals. Um you could oh, remove yeah. it, but it'd be more no, tedious than anything else. No, because um, if they have said out loud, we're trying to remove the big blue one from the rest. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you can investigate. I also trapped him inside this pillar somehow. You're trapped out. inside the pillar? He was. He just I just got him out somehow. Oh, okay. Anyway, investigate then. But that's not a history, so he doesn't get the bonuses. So. Who Who is, you? since you're doing two characters, who is doing this? Talkland. Um, rocks floating on other rocks. I, I don't know. It's kind of it's weird. Floating. That's, not, that's not something that's supposed to happen. Exactly. Anyone else? Um, after I get my portion of healing, talk a little bit about my tribes. I'm going to go back to um, Aveo, and I'm going to try to help her out with uh, the removal of this thing. So, based on what she's told me, I can definitely discern its magic. Um... I'm going to go ahead and look down to her, and I'm, I just want to see, facial-wise, how important this is to her. And I'll, I'll throw in sight, just whatever. Ah, that's a nine, but now what? <laughs> well, so um, how long has it been, theoretically, since we since I cast Stone Tell in that combat? <laughs> there, it's Two minutes, minutes, maybe. It's still, yeah, you have plenty of time to interact with it. So um, I'm going to go back over to the rock that I'd cast it on, mm -hmm. and... Um, start talking to it and asking um, anything that potentially could help, like how long it's been connected to it, um, where it's originally from. Um, yada. This rock has been there maybe a couple weeks. Um, notes that the rock way across the way, it starts calling them brothers and sisters. Um, the rock way across the way, maybe a day. They just more or less put it in. Um, the other two are uh, this one over here a good few weeks there they were about the same time um this rock over here maybe two weeks ago oh um, i talked to is the first one um uh, the first one that you're talking to is maybe a month 
couple weeks, it it's kind of been thrown off by all the magics. It just it's he been like, it's been it's the oldest year. one and it just knows when these other ones were put in. Cool one. Um I can help, but I must warn you, I'm I will have to use a powerful magic that could be used later if we have any um more enemies to fight. If this is important for you, I will dispel whatever magic is keeping it here. Well, it is super important, but uh, I don't want you to use up some magic that you, you can do. Maybe we can um, do something about the runes here. Um, I'm going to ask it a little bit more questions about uh, like how the runes got placed on the other rocks, if it saw. I don't know if it would be able to see what it placed lady, on itself. Lady in full no. armor. La lady in many, many rocks. Put down put down the, the runes. Put down the weird writings that keep us here, that float us here. Free! Set us free. Set us freedom. Okay, uh, so the lady in the armor uh, put the put the runes on that caused them to, to be stuck here, and they want to be free. Um, I wonder if getting rid of the runes would would just free them. I'm gonna can I kick this guy and see if it wakes him up? Sure. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Don't want to kill him. No, I get that. You give him a good whack. He's. He got conked on the head pretty hard. He's still out. I'm gonna try to wake him up somehow. You could push him towards the pixie before it dissipates. Don't want to. Well, he's tied up. Yeah. Okay. I'll try. If you, if Conrad, says that, I, I don't know if I'd realize that. But people would see me trying to wake him up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Victor and Kelsey, you all see, say, kick the guy. Lars too. Hey, wake up. As the uh, say is trying to pull the guy into the big sea, uh, Victor's gonna lay on hands for one HP. Okay, easy enough. Um, Pixie, again, say you hear herder, 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 herder. Uh, <laughs> Victor, you hear the Pixie. Oh, this is a this is a bad owie. This is looks this looks really bad. I can I can help <laughs> here 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 here. Say you see it touching the head and the guy. This is a the the guy. Ah, 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 please, please don't eat me. Please, Hi. please don't eat me. To Gertie, Gertie. <laughs> yeah, he does. I kind of like, this... I kind of like push, like shoe the pixie away, not like hitting it, but just like you know, like hey, hurdy, hurdy, then... hurdy, 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 hurdy. Then just make sure Say's face fills up his vision. Like, please, don't, please don't, please don't, please, please don't, please don't. I like my legs. Please Do don't eat know? my legs. That's fine. Hey, that's fine. Uh, do you know how these uh, these rocks got put on the other rocks? I don't know, man. I'll, they like, just grab his hair. I'll grab his hair. Ow, and, like, ow, his ow, ow. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just I'm just a guy. They just told us that we get a lot of gold if we do this. Please don't please don't eat me. I don't want to die today. Please don't. It's been a I lot of weird things. Eat you? We don't eat people. One time, and it was <laughs> you know never mind. What? Man, I don't know. They just said don't, don't, don't mess with the rocks. That's all they told me. That's all they told me. That's all they told me about the rocks. I didn't know that there were people right, there. Right, I was look, really trippy. You all are really weird people. Look, 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 You're tied up. Just roll yourself over to there. Oh, maybe not right on there. There was a teleport thing, but like right there. Just roll yourself over there, okay? <laughs> then I'll give him like a little start. Gosh, you, oh, you, God, you. Uh, this is such a weird day. Just, just find a comfy corner and sit there. And he starts. Rolling. Ow. Ow. You rock floor and fur. fur, fur. Uh, can I gets check right to there. see if that, if that bow survived? And you can do that while that um, actually gets stuff done. No, that bow got burnt up. It's a charred remains along with a body on the ground by the crystal. Okay, I'll just go around checking all of the surviving weapons. Sure, you can, find, you can find the quarterstaff that Ta used, the great sword that the other general used, the unnamed general. Um, and then a plus one greatsword. They're all magic weapons, and other than the plus one greatsword, they require attunements. Is there any, uh, studded leather armor? No. Uh oh. Uh, well, uh, Victor's Is taking there a the breastplate? Pixie. No. He's gonna try and ask the Pixie if, uh, he's ever seen anything like this, uh, pointing at the rocks. Um... Roll me a persuasion check if you could please there, Victor. If I have time, I'll do there, that. 
They're weird rocks, some weird, weird magics that don't work very well when you push rocks over and magics fail. They're really weird. They're really, really weird rocks. Humans are so dumb. They, they, they can't really get this. Again, Kelsey, you're just hearing hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy gurdy, hurdy hurdy gurdy gurdy. All right then, I'm just gonna walk over here, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna tap the crystal, like just kind of, like, can I just push it off? Uh, Kelsey, you walk up and tink, 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 tap the crystal, and you notice that it kind of, like, floats away from you and tilts a bit, and then comes back to center. Very minute, very small amount, but you can pick it up. What was that, Aubrey? I just think don't hurt it. It's like tapping, it's like tapping on the glass of a fishbowl, it's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, if Aveo lets me, I'd like to lift her up and be like, um... Little one, why don't you try grabbing it and taking it off? Oh, uh, grabbing it and, and taking it off? This um, this crystal is double the size of a veil. Or I could do it. You know what, I'll just do it. I want to see if I can just pull it off. Alright. Um, strength check if you could please. <laughs> oh god. Mm. Strength, athletics, acrobatics. <laughs> uh, we can do athletics. We'll do athletics. Yeah. Um, you can get it to move a little bit, but once you reach a certain angle of tilt, you feel a resistance to it, almost like a magnetic pull. Uh, uh, and you let go, and you all watch as the rock, from about a fifteen degree angle, boom, 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 and fall back to center. Um, at some point, the pixie will pretty much say adieu and then disappear into another realm. Sure, sure, sure. Um, Victor sees Conrad attempting it and looks at Toklin and points at the crystal at the top right and says, Hey, Toklin, I bet you barrel of the best ale and you lift that up. Are you pointing at the big crystal, right? Um, Aveo, you're hearing as Conrad is trying to do this. Um, yes, freedom! Yes, yes, yes! Close! Close, freedom! Yes! He said He said we're close. Uh, yeah, guys, keep trying. Get them off. And then Darklet will, I guess, slam into the bottom. Not the, the colored rock. But don't hurt it. Sure. And then no, he, he slams into yeah. the base. And then sure. pushes up. And it's just a piece. Uh, like, athletics, <laughs> athletics check, please. Can I um, assist anything for advantage? I have checked. No, because you're kind of like standing away from this. You know, anything. it's only it's just Conrad running at it, is is what it is. Sorry, it's just Talklin running at it. So Talklin, uh, athletics, please. What I was trying to say is, can I give him advantage because I was also helping pull it. Well, he doesn't need it as he barrels forward and tackles this crystal. Um, uh, Tuckland, you feel it resist a little bit, maybe 15, 20 degrees, and then it almost snaps free. Uh, you bounce down the side of of the rock. Uh, Veo, you hear, wee! Um, catch it. Like, catch, like, catches himself and then pushes up like he's deadlifting. Sure. Uh, <laughs> let's, lift sure, let's do an acrobatic check as you try to orientate your body in the correct way. Which you're actually surprisingly do so. As you tackle it, you feel it give way. You rotate around, land on your feet, and lift the crystal up. As you do so, um, a very small crack forms on one side of it. <laughs> ah, freedom! Empty! Empty! Say, uh, Aveo, you're the one that hears this. No one else does. You also see... So, wait, it said freedom empty? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I, I think... He also he wants to be about... empty. Yay, and then start to like throw it over the like throw it just you know like if you deadlift you just toss it aside. Sure. Where are you <laughs> so, tossing it? Don't, it, don't hurt it. Ah, uh, and then I guess we'll say he like he caught him mid toss in this way, so okay. he'll try to soften its blow. Sure. Yeah. Easy said, enough. You toss it over your shoulder, kind of soften it, kung, 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 and it falls on the ground, rolls a bit. Um. Avail, while he's doing this, the crystal the entire time. Wee freedom! 
freedom, freedom back to the ground. Happy, 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 happy. She's kind of going to give it like a little bit of a hug. Um, sure. I'm um, guessing close to the end of its time of 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelsey, of note, when Talklin tackles this thing off and uh, you hear the shatter, the shatter echoes around the room and you notice the crystal that you're looking at also does a bit of a crack on it. I'm just gonna fucking whack it with the back of my of my rifle. Okay. I'm gonna rifle about the damn thing. Okay. Uh, athletic check, please. Minus one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> whack! Oh, it actually hurts your forearms a bit. Ah, uh, ow. <laughs> ow. 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 Not smart. Not smart. Oh, leave the hitting to the people who do the hitting. <laughs> there, you hear the crystal from the floor. <laughs> rifle, crystal, rock beats. Weapon. <laughs> uh, Sammy, you give it a good shove, uh, and it feels like it almost goes, and then it woof, uh, slams back and throws you back on the ground. <laughs> you slide across the ground. Uh, Victor walks up. Okay, okay, we're we're getting to the point. You guys, easily <laughs> enough. <laughs> Boom! One crystal down. Boom! One crystal down. You owe me a. You owe me an L, Sonny. Um. As the two crystals fall, they each larger cracks. I'm gonna drop it on the ground. Uh, as I'm lifting it up, I'm gonna like try and uh, sort of like bench it a little bit, looking at Tocklin, and then gently set it down on the ground. That's fine. You, when you do set it down, it's still the cracks about three well, quarters of the way through the side. While everyone's doing this, I'm gonna make my way to the frontmost pillar, um, take cover behind it, and just pretty much battle orient myself and look this way and just get ready for anything um probably sure. start summoning some magics but not really know what i'm going to cast yet lars as you watch conrad get to the pillar you get to the last one pick it up uh what do you want to do with it i guess i'm just uh toss it to the side and hop down behind the base and take cover sure you toss it to the side and as you do so it, it lands rolls a bit in this last piece of cracking comes to it uh you will watch as uh, the front faces of each of, the, each of these crystals shatter open and uh from each one within bodies begin to roll out of the crystals um some slightly injured like that to the north uh some not so much uh but each of them do have some small amount of injuries on them. Uh, from the Kelsey at your feet to the northwest, uh, uh, a no, not a gnome, a goblin, um, dressed in armor with a with a rather large sword relative to her size, rolls out. She also has a shield, and you take note on the shield. There's actually uh, two barrels sticking out from the front of it. Um, she is unconscious. Uh, oh. To the southwest, Aveo, before you, a very large body rolls out from from within. Uh, an orc, a full-blooded orc in very fancy attire, uh, rolls out. A couple scrapes on it. Not too damaged. Same with the goblin to the north, uh, Kelsey. Lars, as you toss out the one before you, um, another body rolls out. This time it is a, I think, elven. Hold on, let me double check. No, a human, a, a a female human, uh, rolls out. She has a couple of daggers on her in uh, a very green and flowing clothes. Um, unconscious. Um, uh, Victor and specifically Sammy, you take note of the North Crystal as it opens up and rolls out a body. Um, it is a familiar face to you, Sammy, as Edgar, uh, rolls out of the crystal and onto the ground of. Uh, Fairly injured compared to the others, but still in relatively good spaces and spirits. Um, oh my god. They are all unconscious, and just as these things do happen, you begin to hear from the other side of the room, Nora, 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 and you hear about 15 to 20 voices begin to emanate from the backside of this wall in a sort of chant, Nora, Nora, um... Yeah. I prepare in an area of attack spell. Sure. Once that wall fucking comes down. Sure. 
And this is uh, this is where we will end for tonight and pick up next week. Interesting. I don't I like. Oh, as someone who does not do well in situations with large groups of people, this is not going to be a fun combat. <laughs> You're anti-combat social? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm good at taking out one specific target, assuming I can hit them, that is. Uh, groups are not my specialty. Actually, on that note, MVP with the crystal cancer, man. <laughs> yeah, well done. Like the, like the only time in the entire game I've ever rolled a twenty. Man, but like it just felt like you t didn't you take out three of the four? Uh, two, I think. Still, that was like she. I will like... say, Kelsey did take out this this red crystal one shot, zero damage to dead. Boom. That's. And yeah, I, I shot like... this one twice over two turns at the revolver and broke this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like oh, good, just one hit and they're dead. Like the first time. <laughs> also, I like a med. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say, probably the most useful stone talk that's ever been used in this scenario. Ever. I think that deserves an inspiration, don't you? I mean, you know, I I'd, was... I'd agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> the veil take an inspiration. Why not? I just the moment he died and went hit, I'm like, nope. Nope, not no, I... <laughs> nope. Nope. For anything else, I love that reaction from Josh specifically. All right, you you land the shot and he goes down, and immediately Josh, nope, nope, something's up. I don't like this. Nope. <laughs> nope. He went I... down in one shot. I don't. Nope. Something's up here. Something's fishy. Don't like I know, it. Nope. I know it's probably Josh, like as a player, but I do appreciate that it translates into Kelsey's like insistent paranoia on yeah. everything. Yeah. I just like. <laughs> game we were all like oh no but kelsey's the one that actually in game <laughs> <laughs> nope nope something's up here don't like it nope <laughs> that ain't right can i can i take some of the crystal like did some of the crystal break off can i like put it in yeah my the, yeah the door shattered you're able to take a couple pieces if you would like does the crystal look of worth ah maybe sammy's gonna pocket is a decent amount of it yeah you can do so i mean you did see edgar roll out so He's he's around a bunch of crystals. I was taking it because I was sad for the crystal. And I was gonna go give it a good burial. But... Oh yeah, there you go. Sammy's just gonna go around. There, there and are two types of make people. sure all the unconscious people are stabilized and there's not gonna expend healers kit stuff. Sure, he's just gonna make sure they're all stabilized and make sure. I mean, we're gonna do this all next session, but cursory glance, you can see that they're all breathing and stable. They just have a couple cuts and, and gashes from where the, the crystals drew blood from them. Um, but otherwise, they seem stable and in good condition, relatively. <laughs> well, he'll just go around and start waking up Edgar then. For, as hey, the first thing in well, next session. Yeah, next session. Hey, Aubrey, I wouldn't worry too much about those uh, stones. They're uh, thick as rocks. Her, her, her. <laughs> hurdy, 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 hurdy. <laughs> yeah. The door's, the door's over there. Please leave. <laughs> Pick up the protector. Someone will appreciate my jokes. Please. Mm. <laughs> no, no, weird... let me stay here. Let me stay here to stay. So, yeah. Did, did y'all like phase one? Of the climax. Yeah. yeah. I almost went down to half health in phase one. Can't wait for phase two. <laughs> Climb the river. I went down from 83 to 20 something. Ooh. Holy cow. With so the 33 helps then? Just a, just a, a little bit. Hey, yeah, that's a point. Can Sammy go and just spend a healer's kit on Kelsey? Is that allowed? I'm I'm yeah, we'll do mostly that in a bit. fine with my health. I'm at We'll do that next session. Yeah, I'm next, at like uh, thirty three at a, I'm at thirty three to fifty. I'm fine for like long as I can stay back. Well, Kelsey, weren't you around the fairy? Like weren't you around the ferry for a while? I think so, yeah. How much did that heal me? Like uh, thirty three you, points. You're at oh, full 30, health. Oh. Yeah. Oh fuck it. Jeez, okay, yeah, fine. I'm gonna fall yeah. No. You still need to be careful, though. That doesn't. You... <laughs> nope, that's it. Going in. Can't stop me. Dagger one hand, revolver in the other. Oh, there Damn. sure are a lot of protectors around here. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm becoming the highwayman from Dracus Dungeon. Jeez, I'm crying. <laughs> Dick stab.
pretty much. Uh, I do got a split. I hmm. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I had a blast. That was a lot of fun. And uh, oh yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Hopefully, as long as we can have the majority of people here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Oh, boys, boys. <laughs>